Hello everyone, welcome to the, I'm, we're officially starting now, welcome to the official stream sponsored by Nintendo uh, for Table Turf Battle Open number 7, hosted by uh, Table Turf Battle Open, hosted by Table Turf Battle Server. Uh, I'm your, I'm one of your commentators, Hydrus, today I'm uh, helped by... Chaz. Chaz. Oh. Yeah. Never figured out how it's pronounced yet, so... Yeah. Yeah. But thanks yeah. for having me. Yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, we're gonna find a match to cast really soon. I have a lot of experience commenting, but I've never done a TBO tournament before, so, uh, yeah. Let me know the, um, the audio levels, guys, how the stream looks. But anyway, alright, round two. What do we want to look- what do we want to do? Alright, so, kind of getting into the first match here. Uh, it seems like we're just- oh, Captain Opening coming out from TBL. Okay, I need to make sure I can- Look at with the screen right now. And hero shot potentially to get a free special over on turn two. Nope, they are gonna use it to go in a bit further in. Yeah, I, I don't think I've done a commentary where like you can see both players' hands. It's gonna be kind of interesting. Oh, DBL kind of reading the block there from uh from Katsu and actually forcing a clash, taking up a lot of Katsu's turf there. Yep, that's the issue with playing the captain this way instead of playing. Dude, it right. it shocks me like how many holographic cards Katsu has. She doesn't buy any cards. What kind of really? Yeah, it's nuts. Um, so sixty seconds time. Yeah, wow, time. still tied up to fifty. I mean, that's kind of the consistency of these players that we have today. <laughs> Mm. Despite losing a pretty bad clash. Oh yeah. Still holding on. Oh yeah, totally. Like a hero shot clashing with a dynamo is huge. Dynamo being a common card, it's very good on every single map, except for Boxy. Well, it's good on Boxy because we can pull it turn one. I mean that that's enough said. Mm. And we're getting close to to our kind of everything being blocked out already. With yeah, this is kind of the this is kind of the mid game starting for Thunderpoint where you're just trying to build your base combos, and uh, you're not trying to be as aggressive because you've already made those aggressive plays in the early game. Wow, the Stinger! Another to... great clash, yeah. Yeah, nice yeah, Stinger fantastic. play. Stinger, a very underrated card. It is less than Splat Chargers, so you'll you'll be able to win that clash. Yeah, uh, Katsu yeah, kind of the smallest uh, seven long card. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah, for sure. I uh, I run Stinger in one of my decks as an alternative to Splat Charger, actually. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, Katsu kinda- yeah, I'm trying to commentate like what Katsu is doing without actually like revealing what Katsu is gonna do. Oh, that reminds me, I didn't set a stream delay. Which, it oh. probably should be 30 seconds, but I don't think anyone's gonna be cheating. Hey, if anyone's watching and streaming now and you're cheating, you're a loser. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, anyway. Yeah, that's surely gonna make them stop cheating. <laughs> yeah, very true. I can- Ooh, I can- I can- nice spot here for yeah. the slusher. Which I hadn't yeah, seen very before. very strong uh, combo spots from both players right now. The wiper being put on the, the left side there. Mm -hmm. I need to take a Benish run, dude. Yeah, uh, I also like. It's like yeah. I also like when you can check when the player checks their deck, so you can kind of go into their mentality of it. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like uh, Double managed to bounce their deck very well. Yeah. Here they have. Yeah, this is so high right now. Yeah, this is so, so high right now. Most of their big coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the last three turns, endgame is basically, you might play a card to get a couple, you might play like one or two smalls or one or two mediums to get some special right. And then for the last turn, you play your 312, also known as one of the multiplayer special cards. Uh, costs three points, but it's worth 12 squares. Wow, DBL is just rolling in the special economy right now. There's so much. Yeah, and they will definitely be able to use this with a six, yeah. a five, getting one back, and then using uh, their three as well. Yeah, uh, honestly, DBL could play a six card and then play a three twelve. That's how much mm -hmm. special they have right now. As long as they activate the special in the six card, of course, um, which I don't think it's recommended, because people usually do like double three twelve. It's usually what they do. They have enough to play uh, one three twelve in the second turn, the last turn, and then one three twelve for the last turn. Oh, so the ball 312 has been coming a bit more into the meta recently? Yes. Yeah, I, I've noticed that as well. Um, as well as bigger decks, we've seen that in a couple of uh, Japanese tournaments and Japanese players' decks. And DBL really thinking about his move right now. 
Okay, this is what I was thinking. Yeah. And Ooh, Katsu! I don't know. I don't know how Katsu's gonna bring this back. This is pretty, uh... It's a pretty big difference right now. That is yeah, good value. Yeah, yeah, that is good value that Katsu's getting right now, but... DBL has an equal opportunity to take some turf. I I'm not really sure, like, where... But... I could probably see it. I can see it. Yo, Ultra Stamp coming out from DBL. I believe this is favor of 312 as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think... DBL, should be it, yeah. DBL probably won that. I would have said. That little Dread played from uh, um, Katsu, I think he gave a bit too much special to the Yes, game. yeah. And they struggled to catch back. Yeah, unfortunate there. But still very, very close match. Oh, and it seems like that's a 2-0 coming out. Or is that a 2-0? Um... Is that no, a, oh no 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 they're defined the sign the match I'm I'm done. <laughs> See, Everyone I, coming to to check the match out. Oh let's go River Drift. Uh, they're both really good at this map. I saw them kind of discussing it a little bit earlier. Um, but uh yeah, it's gonna be really awesome right now. A lot of these curvy cars coming from Katsu, which are obviously very good. Ooh, this, this opening is uh, uh, this is kind of a DBL hand right now. Uh, if anyone knows what that means, I love you. Um, yeah, though, Katsu with that opening. Well, is actually, not really dark. a brick. DBL's hand is kind of looking si spicy right now. Okay. Great, great opening from Katsu as well. The Hydra. Oh, the double splat lane to block off mid and to gain turf and early point lead. Now, is... yeah, it's nuts. So, one thing I do want to say is that if, if DBL had like a splat lane or a wiper or a stamper, he can kind of push in their uh, Katsu's base right now. Hmm. Yeah, One of the problem with the way that uh, Double played it is that their opponent um, is better in terms of stacking they have. Yes, yeah. Because they did not go wide, they just went forward. In the yeah, position. which is kind of what... But they did not take advantage of that by going straight down instead, of, and instead they blocked. Yeah, I think this like... Is, yeah. I think a really important stage of the part of this map is... The game is kind of decided in this map in the first three turns. Like, if you don't have control in mid, you're kind of screwed. Essentially. That is why I... Yeah, Ketsu here has definitely an advantage. Yeah, that so... That is why we debated pick it, uh, putting this map in counter pick. Counter -pick er, so. Yeah. Yeah, and now people might want it in starter. That's going to be a entirely new meta if we end up doing that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, DBL, unfortunately, not really reading the block too well and getting kind of high-rolled by... Katsu with the two splat lanes, so kind of just saying, saying for some base combos right now, and uh, yeah, they just playing it safe. They're comfortable with Katsu is comfortable yes, with, so yeah. of course, having this perfect spot for that. Um, yeah, for sure. Um, actually, what I'm gonna do right now, so while you uh, while you commentate, I'm actually gonna make a little score layout. Uh, okay. So great. yeah, just sure. you can commentate. Just let me do this. Player one score. So, yeah, once again showing it's a setup they know, and probably they have a section or a feasible to combo with that little thread in the corner. Hopefully they... <coughs> okay, actually they already have that physical in my bag. It's gonna be an easy 2 plus special. So, yep. And the double stack is actually looking somewhat awkward. You can see lots of holes between that stringer and that charger that they have. Close to the bottom of their spell. Special game is pretty much equal, but plus 16 should be enough. Unless... Potentially, a double could have a pretty... Sorry, Almost uh, done. You can keep talking. ...to the full right. Oh, actually, you are commentating, um, spectating from the opposite perspective, so no. Oh, what matter. color blue is this? We'll do this, blue. Jack, can anyone tell me what type of blue Katsu is? What's the hex- <laughs> What's the hexacode? We'll just do this blue. And then we'll do this for yellow. I am barely paying attention right now, I'm almost done. Uh... Oh, sorry, Chad, just noticed that I was not commentating the same POV as uh, Hydra's. Yeah, we're doing um, opposite perspectives. <laughs> okay, that, that looks uh, good. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, anyway, wow, it's it's tied right now. What's in Katsu? Plus six special points. Plus six special yes, points. Yes, Katsu has the total lead right now. 
Got and Dino has a plus two special points in oh. one move, so they're gonna be able to play a 312 last turn. Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, totally. Brought that back a bit. I'm not sure. Oh, Super Chump! Or, oh, okay, oh, I, I... Super Chump coming out. Yeah, Super Chump. I, I am saying what he's playing, but I don't think it's gonna matter too much. This is why yeah, I need a delay. Nine. I mean, hey, Super Chump is awesome. Can't lie. On, it's, a, it's like a level two star Super Chump as well, so yeah. Oh yeah, there's the colorings background. Yeah, yeah, really awesome, really awesome. And plus nine. Yeah, I don't know. Back. I don't know what got more turf there. It's really hard to tell, honestly. And it is. Yo, Katsu taking it. Very close as well. Very close. Uh... I'm bring it back, but plus yeah, nine. yeah, very close, very close game there. And so. Proving that they were right to counterpick there. Double to Gemini counterpick coming out from DBL. This is a map that not a lot of people like. A lot of people actually want this map banned because they don't know how to play it. Oh, I'm just kidding. Um, mm, second most hated map after that. Yes, one. second most hated map. You definitely need a specific deck for this. Oh, wow. Interesting hand from uh, DBL. Oh, uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, important. Yeah, oh, so... Oh, what was I going to say? Oh my god, uh, I thought I was... Wow, very... Crazy. I did not realize how similar those cards looked. Great opening from both players. Not opting to play... Actually, oh, that's kind of an interesting play from that card. Deals. Selected. Katsu so is completely top decking. You have no idea. They yeah, completely top decking. Katsu is cheating, actually. So anyway, yeah, double Gemini. Wow, reading the both... Reading each other right there. Well, I don't know if that was reading, but that was kind of luck. So, kind of explain what Double Gemini is. So, Double Gemini is a map based on diagonals. It's one of the biggest maps in the game. It's 249 tiles. And you need a specific deck to play it. It's almost impossible to play a general deck. So, both players kind of have a deck ready for Double Gemini. Um, also, the final thing I'll say is that you definitely need cards that can kind of activate their special points inside the squares or the corners yeah, in Double like Gemini. Dracon, yes, yeah, yeah. Great is setup with the crack on there. Great, great setup. Yeah, and you can see that Katsu was top decking for a while with that very small card. Yeah, it seems awesome. like. DBL attempting to block off Katsu. I don't know. So what they could do right now is they could kind of both push into each other's bases um, and both play aggressive. But it seems like one player is kind of conceding a bit, which makes sense. Captain played. But it's plus seven already, and the double has a lot more space uh, that they can call their own. So yeah. Already the early advantage, despite being one special down. Yeah, so Katsu is kind of playing a bit more defensive now. Oh, and we have actually a um, panic special coming from Katsu. Ooh. Already. Yeah, I think, like, seeing a card is definitely, like, relevant if it's relevant to the commentary, especially if you have, like, delay, but... For sure. So yeah, and looks like that panic special is gonna pay off slightly. Oh, okay, yeah. Problem. So looks like DBL is gonna give Katsu a. Sp well, actually, no, not gonna give Katsu a special. I don't know what Katsu. Wait, no, you can't for you can't, you can't put Squid Force up there, Quan. But yeah, DBL kind of setting up for a nasty combo right now. Uh, in their spot in his spawn, if he has. Okay, if he has suction or fizzy. Well, particularly suction. Um, that would be a lot of combo potential. Also, I really, really like Little Judd in this map, uh, just because, you know, Little Judd is played by Little Judd, AI in this map, in Splatsville. Um, and it kind of works as a bigger, better, uh, a bigger, better Octo Stamp, which is another really good small card. I mean, there's this potential uh, combo for the corners, so... Yeah, yeah so, great combo this by the way, chat, uh, this is best of three, so first to two wins. So whoever wins this uh, takes their match in this round, so... And doubles looks to be the one taking their own pick, so... Yeah, so doubles is kind of doing a common strategy the NPCs do, uh, where basically you waste one special to gain either that equal amount of special, or to gain more than one. So you lose one, but you gain two or three, for instance. That's a very common strategy that top level players do. Yeah, this is very close. I don't know. Oh, you want us a really good card in this map, Shaz? Uh, Ten Attack. Ten Attack is amazing. Oh, yeah. oh, I. Oh, okay. That's already made her move. 
I don't know why ten stack specifically is amazing on this map. Um, I think it's just kind of good for playing along the corners. Wow, this is so close right now. Katsu does not have enough for a three twelve. I don't know what you can counter. You literally can't they counter have, against. They have space for a Kohak. Oh, that's Kohak. oh, that's true. That's true. I completely did uh, not notice that. Not I was not. Enough. I was not paying attention. No, that should not be enough. Oh, DBL taking it. Yep, on the Kohawk was not enough to tank that 312, and DBL takes it 2 to 1 over Octokatsu. Really well played match on Double Gemini there. Uh, anything you take away from that match, Shaz? One thing I always struggle to do in this game. This is why I'm so frustrated we don't have replays. Yes, yeah. Uh, uh, if anyone doesn't know, we have several simulators that we played before we uh, played t tournaments in game. And there's a Chinese guy called, I, I believe his name is Koshi. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced that, but he has one of the best simulators um, currently. You can play it on every platform except for iOS, which is like Apple devices, and that actually has replays. So it'll literally record a match, and you can watch it turn by turn and see the player, the, the cards in each player's hand. It's really awesome. I don't know why we don't have it yet. We have like replays for both PvP and uh, Salmon Run. So I'd be really. Run is not really a replays, but yeah, it's like pseudo replays. All right, and we are starting the match. I hope I don't. Streets. I hope I do not switch the colors right now. Okay, I don't. Cool. Okay, and we are starting. Nice golden banner there from Doctor Potato. Uh, I would see potentially the uh, harmony opener. No, yes. Are too risky. Hollow, too risky. Yes, a little bit too risky. Spread out. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that card is not bad. Um, I talked to Hollow a lot, and they said. Uh, Harmony and Toxic Mist is one of their favorite combos, and Harmony is in basically all of their decks. They're gonna be seeing a lot of Harmony extensions with this. Ooh, great opening there. Leader 4k, not bad. Yeah, I agreed up until a point where I just got completely destroyed by everyone, because I tend to play a bit too um, heavy of decks. Yes. But Harmony has just some amazing combos with yeah. Big Shots and Heart. And yeah, Harmony Big Shot, uh, Harmony Big Shot, Slamming Lin, and Harmony kind of took slash Toxic Mist is really good. Yeah, so Dr. Potato kind of unfortunately reading the block there from Hollow. Uh, Hollow did not go to the left. And with that position that Dynamo was in, that was going to be a pretty easy clash and some easy turf sealed for Dr. Potato. Yeah, so. And unfortunately, we have. Um, oh, a a oh, the double read! Reading the Mud Mouth and then stealing of the Scrapper. I really like that from uh, Hollow. Yeah, but unfortunately, that's Mud Mouth. Uh, no, that's Joe Mo, sorry. Uh, they wanted to use it to combo with the Scrapper, but they already used it in fucking Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and also, uh, if Dr. Potato gets one special, he could put it in that Mum Mouth kind of opening there, and uh, still get two, even though he would lose one. So, that's another yeah, aspect. Yeah, he would give one to his opponent, so... Yeah, I guess it's... Yeah, I guess it's something, like... Not something I guess it's something you kind of want to consider this mode. Do you want... Even though you can get special from this, do you want to give your opponent a special? Because giving your opponent special mm -hmm. in any form is generally pretty bad. That's probably the worst thing you can do in this club besides passing. Yep, and talking about giving your opponent specials, with that uh, card uh, close to the middle left, uh, Dr. Potato is going to have a pretty easy time getting the special of that split link. Yeah, I really, yes. enjoy, um, I really enjoy the fry placement in the base from Dr. Potato. That's a really big way, really nice way to get some le a lead early and also to set up for a couple combos, which I think you can do like Octocopter or Octopod with Fry, I believe. Yeah, but in that case, it would probably more be more of, um, yes. of a section into 10 seconds. Ooh, I love the slap on placement there. I mean, that's a good that's a good block off from Tri-Stringer, but Dr. Potato is kind of running out of gas right now. And Hollow is getting a big advantage, getting in a super big advantage state. Mm -hmm, but that minus 23 is <laughs> really none. Uh, you yeah, so that what Hollow could do is, I don't I don't see a lot of people doing this, but aggressively specialing to push into the opponent's base and to get turf. Now, I don't know if Hollow could do it in this situation with their hand, um, but that is something, you know, they could do. They could try to use their... Um... Turbo Blaster as a special, but maybe they think it's unoptimal because they think they can get like six or seven specials in the end and use a bigger card as a special. Yeah, I guess so we'll kind of see. They're not doing it. Yeah, I guess we'll kind of see what's happening right now. It seems like Hollow is just going for the special farm. Where could you put that card? Oh, okay. Oh, I oh. like that. The perfect opening. 
The Fry actually saying up for Yes, you, the Fry weapon. actually helping out Hollow, that's kind of a meme, honestly. Very unfortunate. But minus 20, three turns left. Yeah, Triple special. Strike is a great uh it's a great 312. Um Showers uses that a lot, so. Yeah, but it looks like um Hollow must, might have to pass next turn. Yes. They will only have two special points. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the harmony would have been a bit better. Is oh, no, maybe they have three my bad. Oh, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. Can't count. Yeah, can't count. How much are you? Oh wow! I just oh, went. the perfect. Oh my. Oh my. How did that we miss oh my. Okay. Holy shit! All right, so that is a perfect spot for the hero shot from Hollow. But, I cannot believe I mean, it. If the third potato can play something in there, they can. Oh. Oh, almost cancel out the special! Gave Potato a special! I don't know! I don't know what's gonna happen. This could be no, so no, close uh, right now. No, they are so lucky to have a card to play in there. Because yes. If they, could not, they would have been... Dr. Potato is so good one. at the 50-50s reading their opponent. Points. I mean, that was not really a 50-50. It was either they have it or they don't. But... Yeah, I, I guess a, more of a 50-50 is like X card. Wow, <laughs> double price strike once? It seems like Potato covered more ground, kind of looking at it, so... I think Potato won that. Yeah, barely. Yeah. That Hero Shot mm. placement was insane, though. I did not expect it to be placeable there. Will be the counter pick from Hollow. I'm I'm gonna be guessing... River Drift. River Drift? Ri okay, Hollow actually helped me a lot with my River Drift deck. They... It is River Drift. Yes, well. yes. Like Hollow it. has two decks for River Drift. Um, and what is the difference between their decks? Uh, I think they're basically the openings are different. So one has Harmony, and the other one kind of has like Captain, I think. And Captain. Yo, oh, Big Man too. Okay, so this is this is kind of similar to the deck I helped Hollow make this deck. So I'm kind of interested to see. So yeah, um, I'm gonna kind of describe the opening and the base combo here. So yeah, you can use Captain as an opening. Um, and you can also use Big Man as an opening. You can also use both as base combos. So opting to go for the captain, uh, the big man two opening there, really strong, really really strong. And captain, I think you're going to be playing. Uh... Oh, and the steel able to push up. Oh, actually going for the block. Pretty smart. Don't know what card Doctor Potato has. Might have a heavy. I'm not sure. I mean, Doctor Potato could have pretty much nothing because of that first move. I mean, that first move kind of indicates that they don't have the greatest hand either. Yes. Yeah. Doctor Potato. Yeah. It. You. The time in is. Indicates definitely a lot of decisions made in game. Yeah, Potato is definitely thinking up there. Ooh, yeah, perfect read. And uh, kind of equal amount of space for both players right now, I believe. I mean, that was smart to mitigate yes. the damage that could be done, but. Yeah, so if uh... I remember correctly, so with this, if you get Big Man 2 and then Captain, so you play Big Man 2 as the opening and then you play Captain, uh, I believe, in the. kind of in the left side. Uh, I think. Kind of in that bottom left side there. And also, Splat Charger really doing work there to push into... Uh, oh! Um, oh! Okay, oh! Another perfect... Yeah, lots of situational awareness right now. Um, yeah, can't really use Captain with... Or can't really use Seal out of Captain just because they're setting up for the base combo. Yep, setting up on the left. Well, they uh, decide not to use their reflex to deny some space. Yes, that's kind Which of interesting. Well, in the end, yeah, in yeah the that end, is a. Oh, actually, to... wait. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if. Uh, I don't think Hollow's listening to us. I think Hollow's just kind of. Oh, actually, wait. Of course. Look, you're three different cards right now. Oh! oh replacing no. <laughs> the special block of Judd, the hard ass. The hard. Okay, excuse my language. Hard, the hard read there. I mean, okay, this is this is crazy, guys. This is crazy. Um, I get, I get way too excited <laughs> to commentate this. Honestly, um... Wow, that was an amazing read. Wow, yes, that was a insane read coming because out. I've, because Reflex is a 9 and Vilgex is an 8, so... Yes. So yeah, if favorite. if Hollow played Reflex there, they would have been kind of screwed. Oh, immediately playing Captain. They know what commas to practice. Um... <laughs> and actually, does the Reflex fit near the Captain? Yeah, this is gonna be really interesting right here. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't fit. I can't find a way to make it fit. Where, what fits? The, the the reflex close to the captain. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, Harmony. 
Oh, oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm surprised uh, Harmony fits there. Yes, Harmony is going to be promoted with the Toxic Mist as usual. Yes, uh, Toxic Mist or Tenakuk. Uh, particularly, Toxic Mist works really good for this particular uh, uh, com or deck that you use for River Drift. River Drift. Slosher also Dude, works really well, both tries. Okay, they decide not to Yo, play Splatter their a rare Splatter Shine Nova W coming out from Dr. Potato. I don't see that card a lot. Something I'm pre that pre weird that weirds me out is they decide not to play their harmony, which means that they expect to get many specials. Yeah. In the next yeah, game. that's kind of what happens. You play a lot of your smaller cards once you have the space combo set up. Um, and you probably use Harmony for late game, which is definitely makes sense, uh, for sure. Actually, I see how they can get, um, two yes. more specials, potentially four more specials. Yeah, Tri Nouveau, Tri Nouveau's in a perfect spot there in the middle. Actually, yeah, they had Tri Nouveau, they could perfectly play in the middle here. Oh, wow. That's oh, nice. yo? Okay. I, I, that is, okay, I did not know my geometry at all. Yeah, my bad, I missed that too. Yeah, I did not expect Reflux. Yeah, Reflux universally does with a lot of cards, so I'm not really surprised that it fits in there. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely not bad. Yeah, not Reflux, bad at all. I'm progressively changing my mind about this card. Yeah, Reflux. Despite its square nature um, compared to other cards, like 4x4, four four, it has this um, nice diagonal, which can make it fit in places you would not expect it to. Ooh, Angle Shooter kind of poking in there, getting an extra special. Angle Shooter, a really underrated card as well. Pika Pika used that a lot. <coughs> yeah, they made it work in their hyper aggressive playstyle. Yeah, and also, uh, Grudge Darling was able to win a tournament, uh, Table of Grand Prix, by using, uh, oh, sorry about that, um, was able to win Table of Grand Prix with Angle Shooter. Um, Interesting. Yeah, pretty cool Angle Shooter lore there. And Ooh, I don't, well, I can kind yeah. of see the idea of this. I was trying to deploy that vanish, but it's not the greatest way to spell I... in the expense. Yeah, I would have specialed in the base to get more special that way. Because now Hollow. Well, actually, Hollow can use Tenetech. Yeah, oh, I see it. I see it. The Tenetech oh, yeah. familiar, you see that? Yeah, I yeah, see yeah, it. yeah. Tenetech yeah. is. Yeah, yeah Tenetech is really good. It's a rare card, so it's kind of hard to get, but I think it's definitely one of the top brand cards in the game. Wow, Dr. Pujito having to pass on the strike! So, I don't know if he runs three tw double 312. He's gonna go for a really big opening right now. Oh, Inkjet! Mm. The Inkjet play. Almost max value, 10 points there. Only missing a couple points. Yeah, and that's plus. Oh, I did not update the score. I'm, I'm not paying attention. Um, okay, Dark Tino won that be. first game. Oh, it was a misclick. It was a misclick. Oh, it was a misclick! Oh, yo! So, yeah, uh, Dark was. And from the start, we had an advantage from Halo, who had more space and had a way better Yeah, unfortunately, if you pass a card, there's no buffer prompt. There's no prompt to let you, like, undo it. If you pass, you pass. So, Lakefront, another map where it's kind of dependent on the... Open. Yes. Yep. But and, uh, in a different way than... Uh, to be fair. Yeah, you, either, you need cards that can definitely push towards the top and the bottom pretty equally, kind of like Tri-Stringer. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, uh, that's... Not... I don't know. Oh yeah, that's a that's super meta. So Hero Shot, um, you can activate its own special from the starting block on that uh, block in the middle, in a uh, lakefront. Mm -hmm. Really, really strong there. So both players kind of going for the same idea. Both people opting to push both sides, which is what you want to do in this map. Oh, and not speaking that much, I'm paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, this is uh. Mm -hmm. Just really trying to learn how this map works. So yeah, I mean, this good. deck, th this map does not have a lot of decks and deck sharing in TBS. Uh, so I don't think as many people have experience in it, um, from what I've seen. But yeah, if anyone wants to play, anyone wants to play in these tournaments, uh, get the event player role in the Table Turf Battle server. We're growing every day. Uh, join there. Anyway, back mm -hmm. to the match. Okay, so already one side has been. Oh, yeah, Steel Eel. Steel Eel is the uh, perfect 7 wide to kind of block off the top there. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. And yeah, probably hear Dr. Potato doing the same as the other side trying yeah. to get through. Yeah, probably just trying to block off. Oh, yeah. okay. And it's 
completely stupid. Yes, and now heavy... the match is completely stupid. Everyone yep. is everywhere. Heavy Swelling is a great card for this map. Um, and Hydra as well. Both are great cards. Yeah, Box Potato really forcing out some sort of reaction from Hollow right now. Wow, a okay, I did not expect that to fit. Yeah. That's okay. It's kind of interesting. Big yeah, Man, maybe... I don't know a lot of combos of Big Man. I don't think there are just that many. Apart from um on their tail or whatever it's called, their yes. feet, maybe. Yeah, there Big Man too. Stuff with Octavio, which yeah, is sometimes yeah. used over on River Drift, but apart from that, not many. Yeah, I don't see a lot of Octavio dubs. Oh, actually running both Big Mans is kind of interesting. <clears throat> mm -hmm. but, yeah, Honestly, that's the issue with the Big Man cards. This, already, uh, this could be... I don't know, this is kind of still 50-50 for both players, just kind of looking at the state of the map and the map control. In my opinion, um, both players can still do a lot. Because while while Potato did push into Hollow's base, they did sacrifice a little bit of their own um, and gave Hollow an opportunity to put the, place that tiny low there. Get too special. Mm -hmm. yeah, so and Hollow seems to be stuck with quite a few small cards here. Yeah, kind of getting DBL right now. Mm -hmm. Kind of getting DBL right now off their hand, which. A DBL hand, if anyone doesn't know, is this hand that DBL got in a tournament. It's really bad. Uh, basically, he got four small cards all in one hand. Um, it's really bad. <laughs> okay, so it looks like both players kind of ran out of juice and are now. Yeah, so now they're kind of playing. Yep, so they're kind of playing it slower. Oh, can it? Oh, no, unfortunately can't fit. Okay, so now we're playing Tetris completely. If that was a Toxic Mist, that would have fit in there. That's how I kind of see that. <laughs> See that right, th right there? Mm. Yeah, but the Toxic Mist special would not have been activated, so... Yeah, uh, chat kind of... And whatever, <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, chat kind of agrees. I mean, I see Big Man 2 more than OG Big Man. Or Big Man 1. Um, still tied mm -hmm. up. This is crazy. Yeah. Uh, with its uh, more long... I mean, it's kind of like stamp in a way, with that... Just a handle, and then the yeah. big shape. So it makes sense that's two Ooh, similar I, cards. I love good. the Power Clam placement. I love Power Clam. It's a really good alternative to crack on as well. Yes. And <sighs> okay. I don't know what I would do. the most solid options in yes. pretty much any map because of its three white um, nature. Yeah. Three by five. I also like Blobber and Ball Point for that exact same reason. Yeah. And e leader here also is a three by is a three white. Yes. But it's longer, so. Better for opening, worse for endgame. Yeah, I'm sense. not really sure. Yeah, Eulator's kind of bad in endgame. Um, oh, I mean, uh, it depends. Yo? Unscoped, unscoped Eulator is of course. Oh yeah, it depends on what Eulator you're talking about, obviously. Um, if it's a, if it's a seven, if it's like a seven wide card, but it's uh too tall, that's really good for mm -hmm. maps. That's can come in really clutch. Wow, this is so. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> um, this is still really close right now. In, oh, we're dapple. five. But minus two, uh, plus, uh, plus two where... specials. So. Yeah, where could Dapple... Where where would you play Dapple, though? Oh, that's smart. Okay. So you get a special back, and you get turf. Yeah. So kind of tanking any potential special attack here from Potato. Um. Oh, yeah, really deciding. 30 seconds left. We'll see if uh, Hollow runs double 312 here. We will, uh, we'll see, we'll see. I like the Hydra play. Yep. Oh, giving another special to. Okay, I like it. Give me a special to Hollow as well. Mm -hmm. But the plus six. And because the, the problem is, it is not sure whether Potato will be able to take advantage of that top left corner. Yes. Yeah, because. If cause... they are, then it's a definite win, but if they aren't, then it's gonna be. Yeah, a... so the okay, reason yes, why you play. Good. Yeah, nice spot. So the reason why you play, like, Special blocks in certain areas, so you can play your free twelves off and then your special cards. Wow, Doctor Potato taking that pretty handedly mm -hmm. in the end game. Um, ten special points for Hollow, but just couldn't make the right special attacks there in the end. Um, yeah, and that's when you see the power of the handle of the yes of the stamp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really without it, it would have been way harder to win that game. All right, so it should be um, X marks the card and. Yes, that is the first... Okay, this is a... I won't say my thoughts on this map, but, uh... It's a map. 
to stay. It's, yeah, it's a map. So <laughs> to I'm gonna stay family friendly. Yep, I'm gonna switch the colors around uh, right now. So you can comment at the beginning here. Okay, so showers is Kraken, which they play as they play in the same deck everywhere. Um, not very surprised, but I don't know what this opening is worth on this map because it does not, unlike. Um, I Dynamo. swear, if both players played Dynamo turn one, I would have, like, yeah, ended no. stream. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I would have wanted to see Showers play against a Dynamo opening on this map. Yeah, so Showers uses a general deck for anyone who doesn't know. What a Shower deck is, it's basically you use a deck for... You use the same deck for almost every map except Gemini and Box Seats, um, which needs specific decks in order to win. Uh, and sh Showers does not use Dynamo or Captain at all uh, in this map. Or inner general deck, so. Uh, yeah. And of course, we have Dynamo and Captain, two very strong openers here, because they allow you to block completely um, half the map. Oh, wow. No, no. Oh, that's so unfortunate, because I think here. No, I might be wrong, but I think the third potato could have completely blocked the left side. But no, I actually am wrong, because they could have still went through the diagonals. My bad. All right, let me get yellow here. Yeah, the colors are just gonna depend on like who we're spectating, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's uh, okay. Now we're back to the match. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so kind of still the early game. Do you like that water yeah. placement and a clash of the steel wheel as well? Um, a lot of early specials. Um, yeah, lots of early specials. I mean, most players don't tend to use them early, so that's probably not going to change anything. Yeah, so, also the thing I kind of know of X marks the garden is that people tend to take 50-50s a lot, especially, like, after turn one. You want to decide, like, hey, what what side is my opponent going to control? You know, what side can I control? Um, it's a lot of, it's a couple of aspects that you have to consider. Yeah. <clears throat> so... Here, after two turns, it looks like Showers might have a slight edge with that spawn region of theirs looking somewhat safer, but of course it's still anyone's game. Wow, a uh, Hydra or an H3 play. I, I don't usually see H3, I see more of L3. More rapid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Showers going for the hard block here, which is pretty smart. Um, oh wow, it's actually, why didn't they play that? But Yeah, Potato could do a lot right now, Potato could base base combo, which I wouldn't really recommend since he doesn't have it fully blocked off. He could push on the right, he push down in the shower's base. Most likely, I think he's going to push on that side there, honestly. Um, I mean, it's interesting that showers did not decide to play. I mean, it's a tough decision, right? Really, it is a tough decision. But they can be blocked on either side very easily. Oh, okay. Wow, give me that potato, give me that special potato. Yeah, I mean, any seven wide card is good for blocking off sections of this map. It's why Dynamo is so meta on this map. Everyone runs Dynamo, except Showers. Of course. Showers is built different. Um, so, yeah. Showers here getting one special and threatening to get another one pretty easily. Um, and they are just saying, okay, I'm fine losing that uh, left side completely. I have sufficient uh, farming. Which is something they do quite often. They are fine with giving up space to just Ooh, wait. set up. Which player? Sorry, I didn't hear you said. Sorry, showers here. Showers, um, okay. Giving up showers. the left side. So yeah, left side is completely owned now by um, Dr. Potato. Yeah, I, I do know... That's something they do quite often. I do know two of the big cards that showers loves to run in her general deck is uh, Mudmouth and uh, either 4K Scope. Um... So yeah, kind of see, showing it there. Um, for big cards are you know crack on, either 4K scope and Mum Mouth. Mum Mouth is so good, such a good big good big card. Um, it can combo with Fizzy or Suction. It's great for base building and it's great for pushing. It's great for everything. And it's great for consistency. Yes, well. yeah, and you're gonna see that combo oh, right I mean, now. It's... Classic combo of Suction and Fizzy. We're getting two more special there. Yeah, and just like that, now Tic Tic Potato is... They have no more play, they have no way to push, so... Let's see how Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> uh, I might be gone for like... Two minutes? No problem. Um, 
I yeah, I just have to I have to, have to call someone. Um, I will probably like AFK like for in the next match. Uh, and then I'll come back. I'll I'll be gone for like a couple minutes. So I'll commentate this match though. Anyway, um, yeah, Splat Roller, great option there. Really solid. Uh, really solid height and width. Um, it's just an overall good card. I don't think any of the rollers are bad, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And the and showing the uh, showers amazing awareness of how the game is gonna go out. Yeah. Because now we see why they played that um, ball point splatling the way they did. Because now they can get a free special with that move. Yep. Well, yeah. Yep. For sure. Now they are just plus oh, wait, special. Oh, like, wait, you play Spire Shot? Oh, I thought you could play on like the right there. The bottom makes sense. And you could also play Small Fry uh, in the bottom as well there. Yep. Oh, special skill force actually. So much special on the side of Showers. Showers is very, very good at special economy in general. Mm -hmm. She almost I almost feel like I'm playing against an AI. Like she's that good. <laughs> um at special That's what makes them so consistent. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah, kinda of debating out where to play the Squid Force. Squid Force is one of those cards where you have the special kind of in the corner, so you kinda of wanna um it has a bit more versatility when you can activate it special. It also has great combo ability as well, or combo potential rather. Yeah, what matters here is just to set up for it. Yep. Um, yeah, so, but... yeah, so setting up kind of in the middle here, and then gonna play a triple strike probably after, I would say. Um, is probably the play here, uh, I mm -hmm. assume. Yes, and, uh, and the rest of the game should play. So. Ooh, early 312 from uh, Dark Potato, kind of forcing that out. Oh, time, time right now! Oh no! Oh wait, they have enough to play another 3 -2. Yes, yes, I think it's a double 312 probably. I'm not sure, I don't know. I, <laughs> this is so crazy, man. I don't know who's gonna win. Showers is kind of struggling to... There's a spot where they'll get a lot of turf. That's weird, because they had the full uh, last 60 yeah. seconds to, to figure it out, so... Yes, 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 yeah. Maybe on the left... Oh, um, yeah, left is probably the best bet. That's kind of what I'm seeing. Yeah, Ooh, I don't even... know. I think, honestly, I think Potato's gonna take this. He has way more potential to, uh... He has way more space to play a 312, is what I'm saying. Yeah, down that uh, middle. Yeah, it's, Shower's really struggling right now. I mean, that's honestly the best you're gonna get right now. 10 seconds. It's a 9. But actually, Dr. Potato 5 seconds. Proud Crop Tank W! Oh, shit! Oh, yo, yo, yo let's go! Oh, baby, baby? I don't know. I get, I get so excited when I cast these matches. Oh, no, yo! No, what? what? Oh. No oh shots! What? I was so convinced it was. I was. Uh, yes, I was convinced Potato was going to win as well. That's insane. And such high points count, point counts as well. Like, wow. Simply unparalleled endgame. That's like a. That's, that was like when Showers fought uh, Pika Pika. Showers played their uh, triple strike, triple link strike. And then. Um, excuse me. And then Pika Pika brought it back in the last turn with a special captain to win the match by one point. I believe that was on Double yeah, Gemini. Yeah, had lots of very close call. On the yes, point. yes, yes. That was in Duelon 1, I believe. Yeah, that was nuts. That exactly reminded me exactly of that great first game. All right, we'll be the counterpick from Potato. Oh, the classic River Drift counterpick. One of the most common counterpicks in the game. No one likes to counterpick the Square Square because mostly everyone hates the that. single counterpick. most common counterpick. Yes, this is very counterpick heavy. So I'd be kind of interested to see, like, you know... If this becomes a starter, uh, what are people going to kind of pick to next? Um, it's going to be kind of interesting. That's in the future. Uh, yeah, so River Drift again. The first two to three turns. Wow, wow. that is crazy. <laughs> Different orientations yeah. played, but wow. Of um, course, because the shower's orientation is designed to be comboed with the Squid Force. Yes, yes. And as we yeah. All know, as we Classic so, so Steel Ill play right now, or, oh, having both big cards in the opening draw. Very, very good high rolling here um, from Showers. Uh, and just in general, River Shift is kind of the map where the tempo of the game is decided by the first three turns. If you don't pierce or you don't block off mid, if you don't have that positional awareness, you will lose. Wow, okay, uh, that's, wow, I don't think you've seen that term before. Literally the same two cards. Played in the first two mm -hmm. turns. Are we gonna get it and again? Maybe for once, yeah. someone will be able to punish 
Yeah, that is, is pretty insane. I, I'm, if someone, if they get the same cards again? Okay, I was gonna say. Wow, so Potato, so, okay, Potato winning the Pierce in early game, um, and mid game is gonna be looking pretty good. Uh, Showers has a lot of options. Mm -hmm. She has to commit pretty hard to push into Potato's base, so she's kind of on the run right now. Uh, yeah. Oh! And the Clash and there. And only has one deck. It is easy to know that they don't play any cards they can easily uh, disrupt. Yes. But I mean, I'm scared for Dr. Potato because... Wait, no. Yeah. Showers is, playing Showers is definitely a momentum-based player. You give them a lot of... Wow. That's... Okay. You give them, uh, you may not be winning in the beginning, but they just pick up steam, and they kind of start steamrolling you by the end. That's kind of how Shower's playstyle is. And Pika Pika, the strongest players, they are, they can always bring it back. Those are always the strongest uh, players, in my opinion. But, I mean, I don't know, Shower's is, a, is very good at finding setups in yes. unlikely situations, but, I mean, here, <laughs> they'll have to find some very good setup. Yeah, I don't know. Because, I mean, okay, Potato could risk pushing into Shower's kind of starting block there, but it would give them two specials, so I'm not sure. Yes, okay, so Steel of Being used really smartly there to block off Showers, and Potato has so much area control right now. Um, I can play Captain. Was, uh, I'm left from Dr. Potato's perspective, so did Showers just top deck that? Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Because if they did, then that's... Well, we're both watching Potato, that so... That late. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I, you yeah. told me to... Yeah, you told me to, so... <laughs> Sorry, I Wow, you were... okay, so kind of similar cards from each player. Uh, yeah, both Splatter shots again. Really cool there. So, honestly, you know, Potato could play a Captain on the left here, and uh, to kind of set up for something else. I don't know if he has Slosher or something. Or Re well, actually, no, you can't play Reflux if you do that base combo, but... Hmm. I'm huh. very curious of uh, what happens uh, on that turn two. Why did Shower's Blade, you know, instead of uh, potentially denying space uh, to uh, their to their right? I'm not sure. Um, not sure. I mean, they must. There must be a reason. So the thing is, if he plays, yep. Okay. So if he played Dynamo, you wouldn't be able to play Captain. So yep. Okay. Playing the classic. Uh, yep. Captain base combo in River Shift, really strong. Um, and sets up for some really nice combos as well, with Small Fry in there, uh, to- Oh! Okay. Kind of changing the game plan. Well, it depends whether they are expecting to be able to special in with, uh, Captain. Yep, uh, that's kind of what I assumed as well, because Captain would be good to play right now, but Showers also has a ton of specials, so it might be better to special with Captain later on. Uh, um... yeah. I sh <laughs> Okay, finally they de they decide. Interesting. Ooh, okay. So, a difference of 20 right now, but, I mean, that's not really a ton, because you can swing 18 pretty easily. 20, I think. I don't know the exact numbers, but... Hmm. So, yeah, I, I, yo, y'all know what I would do? I would play Angle Shooter and kind of push into the spawn and get a special. Honestly. That's what I would do. I mean... Where would you play the angle shooter, sorry? Um, maybe towards the top? That's a perfect angle, honestly. You can play it off the top. I mean, why not? But in the end, you're probably gonna use your special here, so... Yeah, that's true. I guess it... Taking... Yeah, it's really weird, because what I would do with the card is different than what another person would do with the card, which is why I think it's like... Commenteers are not always accurate. It's like, okay, you should do X play, or it's like, oh, why aren't you doing this play? It's like, you're not in the mindset of the player, right? It's like, in... He's been, he's been thinking for a minute straight, um... Uh, what to do so i or, mean yeah that's seconds left because we are in yeah sorry <laughs> yeah this is a uh, wow okay okay wow that's unbelievable i mean they used three no they used four and they got three back so uh prop lining i i am a speed runner i speed on the splatoon games and other games um but i do i have not run mirror's edge uh but you are right in one half I've done commentary at GDQs before, so this isn't like new to me commenting. Um, so. Oh, I thought you were commenting in the Smash Bros. thing. Um, no, I took. I learned how to commentate by watching like Smash Melee tournaments. Okay. 
Yeah, I've commentated like Hobbs Splatoon. I do. I've commentated like speedrunning stuff. I've done GDQ. Um, this isn't any different, honestly. And I love table mm -hmm. turf, so it's yeah. Yeah. So okay, kind of opting for the angle shooter play towards the end there, not gaining a special. Um, oh, passing on the ball point, probably a strategic pass. The showers have any big five fives left? Well, no, probably gonna go for triple strike. Oh, oh, that's perfect. An eleven as well. Yeah, that's not, twenty-three out of twenty. Yeah, value. that's not bad. Yeah, I still have to kind of learn the math, the quick maths. Oh, crack on! That's smart. Crack on is the only counter. I don't know. I, uh, I don't know. It was more than I don't. Know. It was eighteen point yeah. damage. So. Yeah, that makes sense. I still have to learn the math. So yeah, potato taking that pretty handily. What is gonna be the counter pick here? Uh, oh, no, it's Lakefront. Lakefront. Neither okay, uh, that's Lakefront's still hype, but I, mean, I don't know. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see Lakefront. You'll see Lakefront. I don't know. Yeah, maybe we'll see it. Yeah. So again, opening is really important in this map. Okay. Uh, actually, that's not that bad. Honestly. Yeah. That's I mean, not, yeah, it's not bad. either see the um, Squid Force or the Captain to go both ways at once. And from showers, we should expect probably a Kraken. Yeah, not terrible. Yeah, Krakon. not terrible. Oh, and, and he kind of predicted it right there. Yeah, so Kraken, great for approaching, like, like taking up space there. Really good. I gotta drink some water. Oh, um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna make that call. Uh, I'll be right back. You can commentate. Please do so. Yep. Well, hello, chat. I'm alone with you. Please don't kill me. Thank you so much. So, all right. Um, that captain opening... To be fair, I haven't seen that many combos with the captain opening. At some point, we saw a lot of... Um, how is it called? Steelhead. The steelhead combos, yeah. And some even combos with the... Autobomb. Maybe we're gonna see some of that. So yeah, Shower's a more defensive play. It is hard to say whether it paid off yet, but I think it did not. Because um, look at that top right space that they have. Their goal, whenever they play, is to secure... Okay, here is the Autobomb, by the way. Their goal is to secure um, enough space to goes for some very, very reliable combos. But here, I mean, we have um, Dr. Potato threatening to go in there. And so I don't think it paid off, because um, if showers decide to combo, then they lose way too much space, even for their combo H2 to, to get back. But we'll have to see if that's, they are the one playing, I'm the one playing, and there's a good reason for that. All right, so the crew potato was kind of stuck with that hand for one turn, and now they're back into the action. And we just have a game. Both players are gonna have to fight for turf, get some points down. It is plus five for Dr. Potato, but plus one special for showers. Either always so strong on this map, they can use it to get a special on that bottom, uh, middle, Opting not to do that and instead to potentially cut off people and combo with that Odobon Knight now, probably. Yeah. Yeah. They do, okay. Oh wow, I actually I thought it would give two specials, but it only gives one. And yeah, we don't have. The greatest combo potential from uh, Dr. Potato, but potentially if they get a small card, they could use it to get two free specials over on that um, bottom left. But here they have to pass. They decide to pass instead of specialing in. I don't know their deck, so it probably makes sense from their perspective. And yeah, I've dared to criticize 
Shower's board. And so I was doomed to be wrong completely. I am back. Hello. Um, Welcome back. Yep. So how's how's this match going? Uh, well, the plus three advantage. Wow, eighty six, eighty five. I have not missed anything. And showers has eight special. What's what's new? Yep. What is new? Um. So we're gonna see four specials used into getting plus two so into a three twelve from the third potato. Probably gonna see. Wait. Showers probably still has their um, scope leader, yes, as I say it, into uh, 312. And that's probably gonna be a Showers match again. As Showers has some not amazing but good enough opportunities to go in. Yeah, people are kind of being salty about River Drift and uh bench that right now. <laughs> no, it shouldn't be starter. No, don't do it. It's like, okay, you know what? It's either that or we have X marks the garden. I mean, it's like pick your poison, essentially. Picking your poison. And yeah, I, I unfortunately got back pretty late, so I wasn't able to commentate too much there. But wow. Okay. Shower's taking it pretty handfully there, or respectfully. Um, 2-1. And that's going to be a four win streak. And if Double won their own match, then they will be playing. Yeah, really oh, awesome. Have a classic showers uh, double rematch. Yeah, in round five as well. That'd be pretty awesome. Bam, 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 bam. That's a point. All right. Okay. Yeah, first map is on Thunder Pilot. Let's see what this uh, opening hand is. Yo, I did never see that. Okay, okay. Uh, that was kind of a deviant hand. Let's go yeah, I remember our... seeing that uh, for quite a while. We ha um, sorry, Double has been playing that Judd on that map. Ah. Uh -huh. But it is they have struggled in the past to get it down on the board. So let's see how it goes this time. Ex okay, I was gonna say expect a pretty passive move from Showers, but instead they decide to kind of go in with that classic Tri Stringer, um, a card we see a lot on this map. So yeah, I don't think Tri Stringer is used for comboing per se. It's just good for pushing. Like you can combo with it, but it's. Sometimes Actually, those combos. Quite a bit of, of combo around the starting special, especially. Oh in yeah, no, that's good. That's good. I just meant like. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to run specific cards to make it like reflex or something. Yeah, Marazushi but... is also an alternative to Ice Cream. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Did not and expect that. Showers has no more play. It yeah. So like, unless Showers has like a ten attack, uh, Showers is kind of locked out, and then DBL is going to take full advantage of this. And no unfortunately, <laughs> cannot play Judd there. Uh, Judd yeah, is not. Struggling to play this, as I said earlier. Yes. Okay. So, like I said, DBL taking full uh, advantage state of this position that he has. That's um, why I expected Showers to play passive, which has worked in the best for them. I don't know why they didn't. Yes, that's uh, really definitely pretty interesting. Fun. Oh yes, yeah, Sprinkler and uh, Judd. That's kind of that's a W. That's awesome. Yeah, but in, in the meantime, they are kind of giving up that uh, small side they had secured. Mm, yeah, that's true. Oh, actually? Okay, as long as the special isn't covered, I think Showers will be good right now. Unless Showers plays Octo Stamp. Yo? Okay, nice. Oh, actually, that's not bad. At least he got, at least he got his special off. Showers can't really do a lot now towards that bottom uh, right side, in the middle. I love the, the two Juds. The showers, they will put a very, very good... Um... Here you can see that specific placement is made to be able to still play their Squid Force. As you can see, there is a perfect... Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can play Wiper there. Yeah, I, I, I pretty much predicted they were going to play Wiper. And yeah, Squid Force, yeah. as you said on the top right, can also be played pretty easily. Um, yeah, and comboed with, of course, their um, small fry. Yes, yeah. So, Jarvis still has a lot of space, using it very wisely right now. Yep. And, okay. Nice, so... Wait, what? Why did they play that way? Sorry. Uh... Why did... What? Well, okay, sorry, very... DBL played small fry, like, in that corner, and... Uh... No, but I meant, why did um, Jarvis play the Squid Force that way and not... I don't click? know. Maybe they just didn't realize. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, because okay. they... Oh, because they had this spot. Okay. Yeah, that makes that. sense. 
I, I panicked. <laughs> okay, so losing a little bit of points there, so it's gonna be a little bit more even. Uh, using Tri Stringer to push, which is smart. A 4 no 3 is not bad. 3 and 3 is also not that bad either. It's probably the best. Um, it's very unfortunate that um, Pebble kind of ran out of time to get use uh, their advantage of space. So. Yeah, this is really interesting. I mean, PBL still has a decent amount of space right now, but there's only two turns. He has to focus on specialing in instead of basing, yeah. uh, basing up. He's already had the game to kind of decide what to do there. So Which I do, I do like that jump play. To mm. so, um, being kind of out of time is not something that we have seen. Um, many no, I don't think you've seen that in a tournament. Yeah, because so basically, for anyone who doesn't know, if you run out of time, um, if the time limit runs out, uh, the game will automatically pass your highest value card in your hand. So sorry, I meant by running out of time. I oh, meant oh, oh. they only have two turns left, and they don't have uh, enough. I think showers did showers play crack on. I think she did. Uh, I believe she did. Yeah, I think it's either gonna be crack on or triple strike. Honestly. No, no, we, she did play Crackle, yeah, not, so it's gonna be triple strike. It was a yeah. blob, it was blob, blob, blob. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Probably that? that? Maybe? I don't know. It's definitely some uh, big combo, or not combo, but uh, turf coverage right now. Okay, yeah, that's what I expected. Um, okay, wow, that is a lot. Not sure. I can't do the calculations in my head. Wow, DBL taking that. And table has it. Taking that still. Yep, Showers was not able to swing um, five yes. points to Nice, nice match. All right, so I'm going to change the score here. One to zero in favor of DBL. And I think that's the first time we see Showers losing their first match against uh, Double. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yo, this card is... not seeing a lot of this card. I saw it. So there's a Japanese tournament this morning, and, uh, yeah. and DBL was the only Western player representative in that tournament. He placed 11 out of 28 players, which is respectable. That's too bad. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, he played Shelly Donnie a lot on a, a couple maps. I mean, the map that it's I've seen it's used on is, of course, the... Wait, Thunder Points, sorry. Yeah, uh, Thunder because Point that... is great. X as well. X. Um, it's almost like a mini That's... Rapid, but it's like twice. It's weird. When would you play X? Um, when would you play it on X? Um, probably like poke out to the sides. I've seen images of that a little bit. I don't know. Mm, yeah, it's weird. definitely like X is definitely like people are still figuring out. So yeah, people are very uh, both players are very confident in their uh, decisions right now. Uh, maybe within the first like five seconds. But I think both mm -hmm. players know how to play like run. at least. Yeah, but showers definitely has more space. Yes. <laughs> They just uh, play bigger darts in their first three moves, and it's... Jaro's opting not to push, but instead go for some special, which is pretty smart. Which makes a lot of sense, because yes. they have two openings on their bottom left. Yes, and Water Shadow combos really well there. Yeah, I forget you can't look at the deck size when someone checks their deck in-game. Um, you can only look at the deck size, like, outside of the match. And now Double is stuck with very bad cards, and... Yeah, he's, he's getting DBL'd. Um, he can't play his 3-12, I mean, yeah. it's only one. He has Captain that he can't play, and two Smalls, so... That is the problem with the way they build their deck. Well, it in wow, being forced to play their 3-12! I hope he has another one. I really hope he does, because... I don't think they do. Yeah, that's, that's pretty awful, honestly. That's... He's sacrificing that. You're gonna need to come up with some crazy special shenanigans to, you know, not play with 3-12. Because honestly, a 312 is good in every map. The only map that I haven't seen it, I don't think you really need a 312 on is boxes. Yeah. Uh, and already, uh, Showers has a very good combo putting their small yes. sprite uh, next to their Kraken, and then putting their suction bomb inside of their mid mouth, getting four easy specials. And they already have four specials, so. So yeah, just because of the hand that DBL got, I mean, now he's kind of the opposite. Now he can't really do anything. Um, I mean, yeah, but they kind of... It's ooh, weird I kind of like that deck, though. I mean, they have some options. I took a, a screen capture of it. They yeah. have lots and lots of just very big um, very big cards. I don't really know what is the philosophy behind the deck. And yeah, as I said, the 
more fry than you just my shower is just very sound play. Seems like uh Yeah, it seems like the bracket is already kinda of decided what it's gonna be. Which is cool. I mean we might have to discuss a bit with Tio's. Uh... Yes. And yeah, this is definitely uh format is, this particular combination of formats is definitely a bit new to us. Um I also love ballpoint as a card. Great three five five. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna get lots of specials with Yes, the and a decent amount of turf, maybe like five or something or four. Which out of ten is not bad. So yeah, aggressively using special there. Wow, both play ballpoint, but in different spots, so... It's kind of crazy. Yep, and Shower is still holding on to that space advantage they got early so yeah. on. Yeah, Shower is... Well. Use Crackout on first turn, so we're not going to see that. I think we're going to see a small special into 312. Probably. Maybe. Probably. Uh, no, wait. No, okay, sorry. They already played their um, other big card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I believe they already played all the big cards, so yeah, I think it's gonna be small into 312, I assume. It's kind of like their blood to... They might not even have any um yeah. they... cost left. They can do oh, they have things. Squid Force. Squid Force. They have Oh Force. yeah, that's true actually. Yeah, I, f I keep forgetting about Squid Force. As a card in the star deck, really solid, uh great for pushing all around and also very combo fodder for combo Fair potential, enough. so. Oh, the spot charger. Spot for it. I like that. I, oh, in the pass. Yeah, not a ton of options right now for DPL. Can't even play Cuttlefish, so it's like... Yeah, the best... I mean, he wastes his 3 so it's like, what can he do right now, you know? It's... Also, I, I want to comment. Um, yeah, yeah. Showers here could have gotten more specials by using their suction bomb inside of their mud mouse, but they were smart enough in recognizing that if they had done that, they would not have had enough turns to um, get as many points as they could have yes. done, which is what happened a few games earlier. So yeah, I guess it's a matter of decisions. Decisions, you know, do you do this? Great planning. Yeah. Yeah, definitely great foresight for sure. Which you need this one and a special splat roller as well. Not opting to use. I mean, I don't know. Tri strike seems kind of awkward. In this, so spot roller makes more sense, and yeah, Shower's winning that pretty handily. That is um, a plus twenty. That and captain, yeah, that mid game brick with um the hand that DBL got was kind of unfortunate. Really decided that match. Similar battle is a game where sometimes you can't get bad hands or you can get unlucky, but good players learn how to mitigate the RNG. Even the best players can get unlucky. Still a card game, still elements of RNG after all. The reason doubled gets uh, doubled so hard is because yeah. of the way they're building. Because, yes. I mean, the side effect of having one deck for each map means that this deck needs to do everything, which means that it has to be so consistent in terms of balance that this is why Showers is so consistent. Yeah, I think if the curve of a deck meaning the balance of like small, big, and medium cards and like the comp potential, those are really important. Um, it seems and once like you. I, I took a screenshot of um, Double's deck, but. Yeah. Uh, take a look at it. Later. Uh, where is it? Where, you, where are you posting it? The VC chat? I'm not, I did not post it, sorry. I took in my. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Just for, for commentary information. Alright. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm sorry. Uh, can't really. I'll try to share it. Uh, maybe yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just be sure to send out the showers. Sure. Um, <laughs> okay, kind of an interesting clash there. Uh, yes, <laughs> we can notice shower learning from their mistakes. Yes. Not deciding to play close to their wall, but close to the other. Oh, wall. can't play Splash Charger in there, but can't play. Oh, yes, can play Slosher. I love Slosher in this map. And Slosher Deco. Um, great cards. <laughs> Slusher into um, the so the yeah, I mean like just kind of looking so at this. Something we see many. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you didn't talk. Yeah, I was gonna say that's something we already saw um, on. Uh, I think it was on uh, Lake France map, which is the combo of the spat bomb of the auto bomb with the captain. And as you can see, that's why we have such a big uh, wall. Yeah, and DBL still has room to play Captain as well on the left. They um, already played it. That was oh, okay. I was okay. I, I think I was zoning out of it in the beginning. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So 
EPL's defense looks pretty solid right now. Um, can't really... Oh, well, okay, the only thing that I kind of noticed about DPL, his position of the, of the special square, is that it's kind of hard to special into Shower's base. If he wants to make an early aggressive play, um, he'd have to get something like Lana Narrow, or maybe like a Reef Slider, but I, no, I don't think he plays Reef Slider. Actually, something they have is their Splat Charger potentially. Yes. Could help me win. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of weird for sure. <clears throat> Feels like we are trying to set up for a combo, but I don't know which one. Potentially, if they had. Um... How is it called? The Dapple Drillies could have. So, yeah, DBL kind of doing what we were thinking. So, yeah, if he was gonna. You'd have to sacrifice a small to maybe push in the mid so we can have a special block to play off of. Uh, I think it's gonna be really important. Let me up here. So this game is actually extremely important for. Well, not only in the, in the because of the tournament. I don't know who's the, in the standings right now. I mean, Double and Showers are the only two players with four wins. Oh, though. that's crazy! Yeah, I, I just saw that actually. I was talking, I was saying it was so important because uh, conceptually, what is this match? This match is someone extremely consistent with a general stack and someone who has way less consistent openings with a, um, you know, a, a very specific deck. And so if Showers manages to win this very much equal fight, it will mean that the risks taken by double are just not worth taking. And so... I mean, personally, it will make me reconsider how I see this game a lot. Yeah, I mean, um, I think some people have talked about game theory a little bit. Like, uh, mm -hmm. that person who made the guide, I don't know their name, they're a subreddit mod. Um, I want to mispronounce it. They're actually playing in low ink right now, which low ink, the reason we might even have his mate and trance is also because there's a huge tournament happening between top tournament called low ink, and it's basically, you know, kind of like Baby Jelly Cup, where, like, you have people who, mm -hmm. uh, lower skilled players and teams who plan giant that is like 200 teams so sorry as we still got 26 players so uh, yeah so anyway going back to like the game plan of dbl um bills lean special economy i'm not yeah, that's what i was thinking you know play a splat charger t so you can play super shot maybe maybe okay yeah, I, down, I like that I don't know where you could play Wiper though. If you're even gonna play Wiper. Oh! Audio is kind of being weird right now. I'm gonna unplug it. Okay, there we go. Should begin now. And yeah, sometimes my, my audio like randomly dies. I have to unplug stuff to make it work again. Okay, so. Yeah, again, kind of succeeding off of that Splat Charger idea, so using the Splat Charger to push in, then building off the Splat Charger and pushing in with Wiper. And the nice thing is that even though, you know, you're specialing a Wiper, um, you know, you can still use a 312. And 83 to... Communication error? Wait, what? Uh... Yo, showers! What? Disconnecting. Showers no, disconnecting. No way. No... Yeah. <laughs> Shut Showers getting showered, I guess. Okay. Wow, that is... Okay, um... wow. So, the rule is going to apply there. If a player disconnects after turn 6, they receive a loss, and the win goes to the opponent. So that goes to BBL. Because mm -hmm. it was after turn 6. That is so unfortunate. Because it looked like Showers might have won there, but uh, yeah, that is crazy. The last turn in Showers had to DC. That is unfortunate. If the, if, oh. if the disconnect was before turn six, um, that would have you know enabled the replay. But that is uh, unfortunate. Feels bad, man. I'm going to match in the meantime. Okay, let me commentate. Watch Eljoy. Yeah, we'll watch him for a little bit. Yeah, so the Div 1 bracket is made. Uh, Div 2 is kind of... It's currently being worked on, so... Yeah.
All right. Yeah, I don't know if I could commentate the solo because there's so much going on. Like, I, I'm definitely decent in table turf. I have a decent amount of game knowledge, but I don't have as much game knowledge as like, like Calliope or Shaz or Showers. So, solo commentating sounds. Actually, I suck. Yeah, a little bit stress, a little bit stressful. Yeah, Div Two should only be finished soon. I kind of like the Viper play from LJ a lot. Well, actually, no, because now- well, actually, no, because if he plays a Swap on there, he'll get three and Shower Zilling it at once. I, don't, I guess it's not, like, that terrible. Um, I mean, yeah, I guess you could play a match prop, but, uh, yeah, be sure to still be here for the tournament. If you're late, that's on you. I think I think I've played LJ. Well, I did I did play this person once, but it was on Double Gemini. I think it was testing a deck or something. Oh, also, oh, that's cool. It seems like there's gonna be like a third place match as well. That's pretty neat. I just realized too, I'm probably gonna have to edit this <laughs> and put this on YouTube since I'm streaming it. I'll probably do that sometime. I'm gonna do that sometime like next week or tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, LJ's in the lead, but Showers is. A lot of special to call me right now, and he has so many gaps in his uh, his cards. He honestly special suction and just put in the like. Oh, we can put it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be really good. Not bad, not bad. I mean, what's one more special point for shower, really? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, last two turns, this could be a five into a three or a four into a three, maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, I like the aggressive little Judd. That's, that's gonna give him another special point as well, but that's also gonna cost him three, so I don't know. He's gonna have to, like, recuperate somehow. If he plays, if, if this person plays Judd right now, I don't really know. Yeah, that's struggling. I don't know. You do a lot right now. Yep. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You, you might have to play, like, Swap on me? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Learning, like, how to solo commentate, this has definitely been pretty interesting. Or learning how to commentate. Because I find solo commentating a lot harder than, you know, commentating with a person. No, I would, uh... At least get one. Well, okay, you still have three at least. Uh, lo uh lost the... Lost the Mummouth Clash. Or not the Mummouth Clash, but lost to the Mummouth Special Attack as well, so... Kind of looking a little bit low. That is a lot of value for Inkjet. I think that's almost max value. But yeah, I'm not sure. Depends on where Showers plays the Tri Strike. Yeah, Showers, I think, does not know where to play this. So, Eljoy might- Elja- or I don't know how to pronounce the name. Elja might actually take this. Yeah, I don't know, that wasn't- uh, maybe? I don't know. Elja took that? What? Let's go. That was insane. I mean, I was like half paying attention to that match because I'm trying to do something else right now, but that was so awesome! That was clutch. So that was an insane ending. Showers clearly struggled to get, um, to clearly, like, get kind of, uh, an opening with the Tri-Strike. And even though, you know, 
even though Eljov kind of misplayed the small fry there, he still won, which is uh, kind of shocking, honestly. So we're going to spectate Eljov again, and we're going to see him in, uh, I think this is also, is this best of five or best of three? I forgot. Okay, so only grand finals are best of five. Gotcha. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so if Eljov, or if Eljovin, that's how pronounce his name, or Jobin, if Jobin takes this match, That'll be a 2-0, and Shalvers will be eliminated from the tournament, which would be crazy. So, El Javin or Javin could have some insane potential right now. And obviously, blocking off the top of mid, really, really good play right there. Yeah, I okay. My attention is fully on the match now. I, I kind of want to see Javin win. Not gonna lie, I'm uh, I'm rooting for him. I'm ro I'm rooting for. Uh, them. That person. I don't know what pronouns this person uses. Anyway. Yeah, so... Oh, kind of like a block off, though. Uh, it's gonna put some pressure... I don't think... No, Showers isn't gonna play aggressive. She has so many combo spots in... Oh, no, no. Oh, I forgot. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay, so we can kind of push towards the top, so... I mean... He's not... Javin isn't... Or Joe and Javin. Javin isn't completely locked off. A couple things could still happen right now. Okay, so now definitely blocked off. I mean, unless he curves, unless this person curves around, but like, I, I don't really know. I'm not too sure. I was looking away from the screen for a tiny bit there, but we're back again. Ooh, Octo Trooper. I've always wanted to use that card, but I never really found a place to... Oh, okay, I like the Octo Zeppelin placement. That's a card that nobody likes to use a lot, I think. But also play the Stinger top right. Yeah, yeah, the Stinger top right. Get some pressure on. It interrupts some combos as well, uh, potentially. And you can play uh, Slap Bomb on the top there to get two, so you can also do that. Not bad, not bad. Oh, two smalls, yeah. Some definitely some combo potential right now. I'm seeing. Yep. Uh, you could, yeah, you can play that anywhere. You can play like bottom, you know, top. I don't really know right now. Nice, nice combo potential from Showers. Or, not, not potential, nice combo from Showers with the Splatter Shot. Ba -bam. Ba -bam. Okay, so really the biggest card this person has is uh, Scrapper and Heavy, which you can kind of combo off, I guess. You can put like Heavy inside there, and you have a d decent amount of pressure to put on your side to kind of base up. But you also have to make sure you can special off of that to kind of survive Shower's special economy. Which, yeah, spe Shower's special economy is really nothing to scoff at. Nice. That's going to be also be tied, and we're going to be going to the end game here. Uh, oh, where can you, you play Squiffer? No, ha hasn't pulled Scrapper yet, so I assume what's going to happen is uh, this person's not going to play Scrapper. Instead, they're just going to try to, like, play a bit more passive, get some special, and uh, prepare for this end game here. This end game trade, which. The 312 is 10 of missiles, which. Could probably work. You could play it off for the bottom, maybe. I don't know. Showers does have a pretty good line of special walls to kind of defend from a 312 push. So, nice. That's a really good uh, Octo Trooper there. Gets one. Nice. Okay. Still not that. Oh, can. Okay. Can't play Scrapper, unfortunately, because had to play that Octo Trooper for some special. Um, both players are definitely deciding now what cards to play. Showers is never the type to pass. Showers only passes if there's literally nothing else you can do. Because you can always do something. Most of the time. Um, I do like the Squiffer play. Because, yeah. Uh, Javin can't really do anything right now. Nice. 8-8. Eight, eight, that shouldn't lose that many points. Oh, that's good. Okay, so that's... Okay, that... Yeah, I kind of forgot how that math works there. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, can, he, can he really do anything? I don't think so. I think Showers has this. Well, I could uh, probably play the bottom, maybe? Maybe? 
87 to 94, it's probably your best bet. Because, yeah, you can't really do it at the top or the bottom, so... Just because of, like, how showers set up their uh, defense, which is really strong. Like, defense is obviously, you know, super strong in this map. Um, yeah, This match is crazy right now. Yeah, showers doing good showers. Is Div 2 finished? Nice yeah, um, Div 2 should be finished, and thank you so much, Pine. Uh, I, I was not paying attention there. Uh, I think Showers won? Yep, Showers won. Mm. I guess it's 1-1 one, one right now. 1-1! One, one. Yeah, Jovin drink the first match, dude. It was, it was crazy. Yeah, Skippy Jovin's counterpick, or Jovin. Um, please tell me what you're- I don't know if you're not watching the stream, uh, but please tell me your name's pronounced. I feel like I'm screwing up. And the Rivers of Counterpick once again! I have not seen Square Squared once this tournament in the matches we spectated, so kind of sad, unfortunately. Yeah, we only saw... I mean, did we see any counter pick that was no, not... Um, not rubber drift? I, I don't know. I mean, we've seen one double Gemini counter pick, maybe? Okay, much yeah, better... Much better opening hand coming out from uh, Jovan here. Oh, no. Uh, yes, but no. <laughs> kind of getting frustrated, not able to play anything. Um... Oh, that's... Mm, Steel Eel is better played along the wall. Honestly, best bet, play that and then play Steel Eel. I mean, just looking at this hand, I mean, it's... I don't know. There's definitely a very weird hand. Yes, uh, that is very strange. They're all poking, but they don't curve around, which is kind of the problem. I mean, Showers has won a few matches on this map, of course, without having any curving, uh, curving card. So, let's see. Also, what is that opening from Showers? Uh, I don't know um, I've seen showers a couple times where you know she'll put like or they'll put like uh, my mouth down and set up for later. Um, that's a very common spot to play it. Yeah, but that's not their usual setup. That's what I. That's what oh, I'm, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And not fully covering that, which will allow their opponents to go in. And indeed they, and indeed they do go in. But yeah, not... so it seems like one of the players yeah. for this tournament uh, actually did not join the Discord, um, which is kind of sad. If you're playing in a tournament, join our Discord. Uh, you're required to, you know, communicate with people and the TOs. You know, you need to be in the Discord. Join it. Anyway. Uh, this is looking kind of interesting. Aldrey seems to kind of have the pressure here. Um, a nice block off from Krakon. That would have been a worthy clash, because uh, Jovan wouldn't have gotten that much out of it. Yes, that but clash. Aldrey not to overextend. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Wiper... Yeah, uh, Wiper Charger could be good. Yeah, it seems like we're going to have to ban that player from future tournaments. The person who's just... It's weird, because they checked in, but they didn't join the Discord, and they just haven't been responding to anyone, so... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it just kind of sounds like... pretty clear it was mandatory to join the... Yeah, it's like, it's either... Oh, he has to release the Div 2 map bracket uh, pool. Oh, my god. My yeah, god. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's <sighs> fine. Um, anyway, it's, nice. it's, uh... Yeah, they seem very new or are trolls, so I'm probably just gonna ban them. So, a lot of options now. I do like Hydra. Hydra's a great card. Uh, base cobbling for River, I'm not really too familiar with that. Uh, kind of deciding yeah. where to play it right now without sacrificing too much space. They, they've been deck. holding on to it since turn one, I think, and really could not Yes, it. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, I saw that, actually. He's running both Hydra and Heavy. Where this hmm. person is, so. Pretty awesome. I do uh, trying to be safe it, and to not screw themselves over by playing the Splat Charger early on because yes. they will play Ooh, it here I like mm -hmm. that. I like how that fits in. That's really satisfying. Um, that is the power of. Um, I mean, you have many cards that fit into the whole of the e leaders, including, of course, a Splat Charger, sc uh, Scope Charger, sorry, Scope e leader, uh, but also Splatter Shot Pro and. Uh, yeah, I don't really see Slattershot Pro used a lot, just because I feel like it's a worse charger. I don't think mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of players use Pro, either Pro. I mean, why not? Why use it when you can have it one longer? Uh, yes, yeah, exa exactly. It's like, Pro mm -hmm. is exactly like it is in PvP, you know. It's 
there's weapons that are like pro, but just do it better. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice you raided me, Alpha. I'm using Chatterina. I'm sorry about that. Thank you for the raid. Um, thank you for the raid of five years. We're we streaming well. <clears throat> yeah, because it doesn't like the raid. It's like raid out text. And it looks weird. So okay, you know, X Splasher and uh, little jug. Well. Oh, mm, well, actually, I do like that. Javin is a good, uh, a good lead potentially right now. Okay, my full attention is on this game. I really want to see who wins this. Javin gets dropped yeah. first round. That'd be, that'd be insane. Because, I mean, okay, mm -hmm. Jovin clutched up in that first game. You weren't watching, but, like, when I post the VOD, it, it was insane. Yeah, 20 lead right now. Has to build up some more special. Price to sacrifice one. Yeah, play in the middle to get, like, two. Yeah. Need Jovin needs enough for this 312 right now to defend against the Shower's Onslaught. Oh my god, yeah, I could get uh, two from that, maybe. Could get three even. Three, but... yes. Yeah, just has to get at least one. No. Uh, if he doesn't play in the middle, he can't use his 312. No, no. Okay, I'm yeah. so scared they're gonna burn. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, there you go, there you go. We're, we're, we're fine, okay. we're fine. Okay. And um, they have... Yeah, let's we'll take full advantage of. Uh... Okay, it's a lot closer. I don't know. I don't know who's gonna win this. I don't know. No, 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 no. Look, they have a perfect special. Oh wait, yeah, that's that's right. No, I, I don't even know. They can... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's that's gonna happen. Like, they, I don't know what's happening. Use. And it's a loss from showers. I don't okay. know. I think it's a loss. I think Jovan won. He did the upset. Yeah. yeah, let's go! Jovan won! <laughs> oh my god! Shower's got to be in the first round of Top Cut. Are you actually kidding me right now? Jovan the wild card. Oh my god, that was nuts. That was so perfect too. That was like max value from the 312. Crazy Met Rivers Rift match. Absolutely wild. Showers is out of the tournament, and I don't think they're even playing in third place match. So yeah, Showers is out. Wow. And that's the, one of the only times where the... Um... Part of the sorry, the inkjet one one. Yes, is Shet, inkjet is so good on the map. Paulo was telling me about it. But wow, that one, Joven the game. Very good job to showers. Yes. To, to both oh players. yeah, totally. Both players played amazing. That was still very close at the end there. It's one Don't of the take first time I see showers being punished that bad for their lack of space because usually <clears> they are <throat> able to out farm their opponent. Showers staying standing there. In yeah, showers, showers, river drift salt is gonna them. be pretty high after that match. <laughs> no, river drift not being a starter. No, don't have it. Don't have it. You should reset the score. It says two. Wins. Oh yeah, my bad, my bad. Hey, thank you for telling me. Yep. Change that and really quickly. Already, we see potentially the. Yo, the dynamo things. opening. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I see big shots, so I know Hollow is playing harmony. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And the and Dynamo the and the here. Captain opening. That's like Table Turf Grand Prix last match. Mm -hmm. uh, and <laughs> both players had Dynamo and Captain on first turn. No, ha no Harmony in this map? Interesting. So no Harmony. Um, didn't mm -hmm. see all the other big cards, but seems pretty strong. It's weird because Big Shots, some people even playing Harmony has have decided not to play it because it was too old. Yes, I... I don't know. I, I don't know if Big Shot is like that good as a solo card. Um, mm -hmm. and it's also not a seven wide, so I would only really use it to push mid. Okay. Oh, kind of. Oh man. Well, didn't lose that much from the clash, but that was definitely still good awareness from uh, DBL. You know, they, he thought uh, that Hollow was gonna push on the left side, and uh, Hollow didn't. So, oh, great. Oof. Another great more positional awareness there, playing both. Shelling Dine and Heavy, those both two really, uh, excuse me, two really good cards that are like a diagonal, but also kind of curved. Um, really yes, good. Yes, and that, that, um, Heavy Spatling idea, we have not seen played uh, that many times, actually. Um, so very, uh, coming up with new interesting ideas from, uh, Double. We have only seen people attempting to block it with, uh, Elaters and snipers for now. Block what? Um, size. Like, uh, the right side, left side. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's a pretty novel idea, which... Yeah, um, I think Shelly and Donnie could be part of the new meta in this map. I, I think it's pretty good. Yo, Big Swig? Let's go. 
Big swig. Uh, what does it? What did it combo with? Oh, with the tricep. Yeah, 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 yeah. On the bottom, on the bottom. Tricep. Yeah, big swig. Kind of like a slightly, kind of like a worse dynamo, and perfectly slots in there. But we love big swig. Not in the game, but I do love big swig in uh <laughs> in the smash. Wow, and play dynamo really late as well. Um, I'll actually you can really play on the top there, so playing to the left makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it looks like. I don't know, it looks like, uh, oh wow, great synergy, um, with the carbon there. Uh, just with looking at this match, yeah, Hollow's kind of running out of space, and I think what Hollow's yeah. gonna try to do is build up in base, right, and then push out to get some more control back, uh, so. Mm -hmm. Their, their early mistakes are starting to yes. break down the box. Yeah, I mean, they did get, like, Shelly and Donnie and Heavy Splat lanes, so it's like, Yo, nice. Hey, great. All these cards just spinning so well together. Yeah, Experts of the Garden is some of the craziest base combos um, in general. I mean, the base combos have kind of been known since, you know, Dino was known to be good on X. Uh, it's just great. You can fit so many cards inside Dynamo on that opening. It's fantastic. I mean, I don't know, because quite a few matches here we've seen uh, completely explode. Like, everyone was in everyone's space, and... Yeah. Both sides completely... I think X Marks the Garden is definitely like a very polarizing map from what I've seen. Like people either love it or hate it. Or like yeah. what the votes have been. Yeah. It's like I think half the people want it as a starter and the other half want it as a counter pick. So it's 50 50. Basically. Mm. So, yeah. Well, this is definitely one of the harder maps to figure out. It is hard to say whether it is actually based on aggressivity or not. Yeah. There's a uh, combos that you can potentially get if you decide to give up some space, I but is it worth giving up all that space? Yes. Uh, I love that power clamp, by the way, in the top. That's going to set up for something mm -hmm. pretty nice. Maybe if, uh. Excuse me. Maybe if. Yeah. Maybe DBL is Sprinkler, put it in the top there, get another special. But I don't think you would run Sprinkler in this map. At least. Uh, but... Yo, Tri Nouveau? Gotta love that Tri Nouveau usage. Yep. Yeah, just I kinda... think I... Just playing kind of small cards, just trying to test each other, see what each other do. Before, you know, we get to the last turn. And uh, looks like uh, Hollow might not um, prove that giving Ooh, up all that space. Yeah, because the thing is, like, that's a lot of special Hollow has, but not a lot of combo, and Hollow's not a big cards. Um, I mean, they don't have that many specials anymore. Yes. Uh, they already yeah, the there's one you can activate. Yeah, there's one you can activate in the bottom, but it's not worth it. And unfortunately, having to go for the pass, you know, having just enough, just a perfect amount to, uh, you know, clutch out this game. Crack on? Nah, I, I don't know if the Crack on's gonna do anything. This might be too big of a. Deficit 100 is very big in this map by yeah. last turn. Very, very big. I, in any map, really. Yes, yeah. If you, especially if, like, I've seen Exodia in this game um, is basically beating your opponent, like, by a times two margin. So, say you beat, uh, you have 100 points and the opponent has 50, that's like humiliating them, basically. Or, or, or spawn camping them. I've seen that in a couple matches. Really? That's also a bit, I have, little bit disrespectful. I have seen it against uh, some uh, AIs, but never. Yes, against, yeah, uh, I uh, I saw some picture of like, uh, I think it was a picture of Sheldon getting blocked off in the first two turns and X marks the garden. It was really funny. I expect a river drift. Yeah, river, well, yeah, river drift. Yeah, let's go. This is a uh, so so common as a counter pick, um, in this tournament especially. Okay, so who is so, where? Who is what? Who is what? Uh. DBL is blue, so I'm gonna go for the redraw. Not bad. That's pretty okay as an opening. Okay. 1 0 in favor of DBL cookies going into this next match. Uh, Reflux. Very nice. Comes with a lot of cards. Comes with Captain, Fry Stringer. Um, a lot of stuff. Great card. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so two, two players very comfortable with this map. Yeah, yeah, Hello. definitely. We can once again see Hano's potentially more passive playstyle, as here they attempt to block right away on turn 2. Which is something we only see generally if um, the turn 1 was actually very aggressive, so... Combination of two passive moves, I don't know how that's gonna work for them. 
We'll have to see. Yeah, we'll definitely have to see. I mean, I don't really know what I would do there. I, I think the Splat Charger or the... I think the Steel and me would have been slightly better instead of Splat Charger just because, like, the special block is facing up. And if the opponent plays something, they can, they might cover your uh, they might cover your special block, so you could get a special block as well. Um, well, you will be giving a little bit of space, so really it's a risk versus reward. It's kind of what you're basing a lot of your moves off of in this mode. It, it feels like. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh wait, wait! I could see a potential opening right now for uh, for Hollow. I don't know if you see it, no. but if Hollow um, pushes up. I guess, I, yeah. Yeah, if Hollow pushes up a little bit on the right side and then plays Toxic Mist, um, bottom left, that could push into, uh, excuse me, that could push into T-Bell's base a little bit, but you would also sacrifice the Toxic Mist and, uh, and Harmony combo, which is fantastic. Fantastic, honestly. Yes. Um... I don't so, yeah. yet see what that uh, slusher, the tri slusher type, is aiming to do. Yeah, I um, think I I believe so. From what I was points? when I was VCing with Hollow, um, they they labbed out so many base combos of Rover Drift. I think they're gonna set up a base combo probably. That's what I'm gonna guess. Hmm. I love the music for Dale Turb. It's doesn't get old. At least when it's like just you know, just like this. Uh, okay, so potentially setting up for a slush. Yes, putting steel at the best. bottom. I I mm. I am aware of what Hollow is cooking. You put steel at the bottom, and then you run a bunch of small cards, put them in uh kind of the the slots or the gaps, and you can get a ton of special, like four or five, I think. I think I think it depends on like what opener you have or what base. Nice. Okay, so I think. Oh no no can't yeah can't play a uh, big man two. Because normally you put that in the corner, but um, you need Captain for the opening, and I don't think this deck runs Captain. I think it's just... Oh, okay, you still have Captain. So, a bit unfortunate with the space there, the space management in the, the bottom right. So... Yeah, Hollow really yeah. thinking about what cards to play, honestly checking back in their deck. Here, yeah, that move they're playing is pretty interesting because it... Will Ooh. allow them to get an easy special once they use a special. Yeah, that trade was uh maybe I was kinda of thinking the same idea there. Placing both specials in that spot. Oh okay, so you can't play captain, it's not bad. Yeah, the cap the combo that was used by Pika Pika on the Captain plus Reaper. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah, it's true. True. Yeah, that's a very popular combo. Uh, here's the puzzle here. Where would you play Tenetech? Well, I guess you can play it there. I mean, you get one for one, and you get some space to push into their base, so I think it's fair. Mm -hmm. The only way to get so special without yep. going to Europe moves. So. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, didn't get DBL a special, so it's not bad, per se. Okay, so, Paulo, unfortunately, kind of being forced out to play Harmony early. Um, yeah, I don't think... it won't even give them anything. Yes, it will not give... Time. Like, yeah, they'll gain a lot of points, right? But it's not going to get them any special. And then DBL is probably going to... What the is probably going to do is play a small. And, uh... Yeah, that's probably what's mm. going to happen. I guess. I don't know. Maybe maybe DBL... Maybe Hollow has some crazy... Like, crazy uh, combo coming up here, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the, the shape is not looking good right now. I don't know how... Only has 20 seconds left. Can they make a decision? Yeah, I don't know what their last card is, but it's in like yes. they'll have kind yeah. of space. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, 10 the seconds. Rest. The pressure's on. You have to do something. Oh, five seconds. Five, five seconds. No, okay. don't pass, don't pass. Oh, 12? Okay, that's not bad. So they are out of special. Can they yeah. play in their They're last out of card special. Somewhere? They have to they have to they have to place something in the spawn right now. Best bet is probably okay. Blaster in the spawn in their spawn. I don't know. Will that fit? You play in the spawn, maybe? Maybe? Or in their spawn, rather. DBLs. Okay. See it. Oh, no! No, no. I mean, they can play it somewhere. I think I see it. Yeah, I... Oh, I, the middle. I have trouble seeing middle. it. Oh, okay, okay. There there we go, there we go. Oh, okay. I so, Hollow is in the lead. If Hollow can tank this... I don't know if DBL is going to use a fresh card or a 312. I'm not sure. I guess we'll see. But Hollow could potentially tank this. We'll see. I mean, it's... And a fresh card yeah. to seal the deal. There's no way 
that an eight tanks that. An eight versus a, a fifteen. Twenty swing, a twenty point yes. swing. Yes, probably enough. Oh yeah, unfortunately, Hollow is out of the tournament. Really clutch fresh card and special generation from DBL. Great play from both players, of course. Um, but that's going to be a 2 0 for DBL Cookies. And they're going to be making it to Grand Finals. And Hollow's going to be making it to the third place match, I believe. All right, we're. Uh, Joven is. Okay, we're really. Oh, this is great. Okay, so they're early on in the match. Gemini, this is a really strong map for Calliope. They have a ton of decks for this map, um, as well as Joven. So, you know, we'll see how Bert kind of works out. Captain, perfect. This is the biggest map in the game, by the way. So, uh, you, can, you can fit a lot of big cards in this map for sure. Um. Mm -hmm. But let's kind of analyze the game state here while Joan is thinking. So, yeah, it looks like a, some sort of fresh card was played in the beginning. And uh, Joan played Steelhead, and then they kind of traded in mid. Nice, good defense with, from the captain. Joan is still in the lead right now, and Joan has great control of uh, Calliope's base. Marigold, you could potentially play on the side, but you need to play like a small card maybe. That is a very dangerous move coming from Calliope. Yes. Get um, completely traded. Yes, you could. Oh no! And it's, yes, yes it's that's like, that is exactly what happened. You read it like a book, Jazz. That mm -hmm. was. Yeah, and that is exactly what you do not play Marigold. That's why Marigold is not that <laughs> as good of a card as you would think. I. I okay. Whatever. Wow. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> um, they, okay. they, keep, they keep an opening, so that's. Yeah, um, that is. Uh, probably... It's really interesting. So, I think what maybe we should do, maybe we should, like, cast the third place match and Grand Finals. Does that sound good? Uh, I mean, it's getting... Yeah, that's true. I mean, we don't have to cast the third place match. I think we should put, like, more attention into Grand Finals, probably. I mean, it'd be nice, but, like, just for more content, but, yeah. And I so, don't want to be the uh, materialistic guy, but... Yeah, true. Look at the audience. <laughs> Yeah, so the winner of this is going to fight Hollow for the third place match of Table Third Battle Open number seven. Ooh, undercover! I don't ever, I don't, I never see that card. I know Hollow's been trying to lab out some combos uh, recently, but uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Shadows is going to tell you. Um, yeah, when Grand Finals happens, I'm probably going to make another ping, just so a bunch of people can watch the stream. They, they can watch uh, Grand Finals. Great I idea. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Um, I'll try ping event player. I don't know. Okay, that's a pretty good trade win. Yes, pretty good trade, Loki, uh, but... Minus two special already. Yep, Joven is still leading in special right now. Yeah, Calliope is kind of getting played in her own game right now. Nowhere to place undercover. Maybe place on the... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, here's, here's the real puzzle. Where can you place undercover? I, I don't know. Do you know? Oh, that's... Okay, that's not bad. They certainly know. Yeah, uh, they... It's not half bad if they have a tent stick. Yeah, still so close. I mean, they they managed to trade there pretty evenly in eight, but... M okay. okay, that's not bad. Sprinkler in the middle there. Tent could be really good on the right there, but not everyone is tent tech. It's a rare, of course, but tent tech is one of the best cards for the stage. Um, really, really up there. Wow, okay. Yeah, so... now... They are stuck. Yeah, now, yeah, now, yeah, now you're kind of bricked. So have also, to pass. I just want to point out the uh, yeah, Mr. Grizz, which is I think a very interesting opener on this map. Yes, I had it is, as an opener. It Once. is kind of splitting. Like you put it, uh, it's very wide at the at the top and yes. small at the bottom. You want to call with Mr. Grizz? Goldie. I don't know about any combos, but I have not. I don't yeah. have it, so. Goldie. Yeah, Mr. Grizz and Goldie. Because it's Samurai, right? Yeah, that's a that's a good combo. Okay, but I don't own it personally, so I have not looked into it that much. Fortnite. Yeah, generally, if you don't own cards. Yo, Tenetech! The Tenetech play! Joven is the Gemini Master right now! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, Zipcaster! Yeah, most likely not gonna be able to play that Big Man card, uh, just because Calliope has to take. Some space right now. That's not a lot of points. That's that's literally six points out of an eleven card. I mean, it's like half, I guess. But yes, but that's the only way they can special and yeah. get three special. Oh, that's back. true. Oh yeah, I just mm. saw that. Okay, you're right. You're right. That's actually a pretty good play because yeah, you can do that, get some points, and uh, then you can get back so, to three twelve. So yeah, Joven has it's very close. Yes, yes, yes. Very close. Very close. So Joven can take this. Joven can two zero. -oh. Uh, two really good or er, could take out two really good players. Kind of the underdog for this tournament. 
So yeah, Zipcaster, um, I don't know what a good 312 in this map is, because I don't think a lot of people know, you know, kind of what's going on with the Double Gemini meta. Um, because that doesn't really get counterpicked that often. Because, like, okay, to play in Double Gemini, you need a specific deck, so it's like, yeah, you know, why would you... If you don't have a deck for it, you wouldn't play it. Yeah, yeah Joven, okay, two seconds it's... remaining! Oh yeah, and I forgot, Joven loves to play, like, uh, checkerboard stuff. Wow, Joven... Wow, Joven completely confident right now. Yeah. Yo, they really yeah, they they must that's... have some card to defend this, because this that is gonna is, uh... be yeah, this is gonna be a ten va oh eleven value, or no nine or I can't do math eleven value eleven. Okay, I can't do math right now. Um, apologize, chat. Uh, yeah, this could be pretty huge. Yeah, Joven, that's 23, 20, Joven must yeah. have so much confidence right now. They must be able to play some card to break this, or they're gonna like. Nope. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. 22 value against a 6 value potentially, so no. That's... yeah. I don't know about that one. Yeah, yeah. wow. Too much overconfidence there. Clybe won that match pretty... I thought Clybe was going to lose that, honestly, but Clybe brought it back. Okay. Main Street to cap it off. Crazy. Yeah, that version of game between Joven and Showers is the one for the books, for sure. And, and it seems like okay. the Ron deck was chosen by Joven, so a replay will be used. You are allowed up to one replay if you chose the Ron deck. Um, and then after that, you lose. So, yeah, hopefully, uh, yeah, Ron deck was chosen. Um, and yeah, now we're gonna get back to the match. All right, we'll pick up there, but. Okay, again, Main Street. Is. Okay, not the worst. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll go for redraw. Okay, that's... Oh, uh, that's... How about that one? Octobomber? I like Octobomber. It's kind of like a... Like a... Kind of mix between, like, Crackon and, uh... Oh, no. Actually, it was just the timer that was not set up. Oh! Um, oh! Oh, okay, okay. And it sucks so bad because Javin actually had an amazing start. Like, the perfect start. Yes, I guess we'll time. have to make a rule about, um... You're allowed to replay if, uh... You don't set the time limit. And uh, it must hurt so bad not to have that. Yep, anymore. that sucks the most. Um, yeah, we'll make a rule about that in the rule set later. Yo, Mr. Grizz on Main Street? Yo, I've never seen this. Mm -hmm. Ain't no way. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Joven kind of slowly making their way up right now. I'm really focusing on one side, which I would try to section off and try to interrupt this uh, combo that Flappy's trying to set up. I try to cut it off, honestly. That was him. Thinking about it, because that move will really determine how the rest of the game goes. Yep. And they start Gnarly to Eddie. Luck. Oh, okay. I like that. I do like that. Yeah, but there. Um, we, um, how is it called the card they start with? Um, not shiver the other one. Uh, fry. No, 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 um, what's, uh, Jovin used as a no -no? Um, Jover used Octobomber. Okay, that's Octobomber. No yeah. Oh, that card is less wide than, at the bottom, than... Yeah. Shiver. It's definitely it worse than, like, some of the other cards that are similar to it. They are not gonna get as much value as their opponents by going aggressive. Could they have played have? Oh! Okay. Oh. Not bad. Uh, I don't know if he, I don't know... Well, if he played, uh, you know, heavy at the top, I don't know if there would have been as much value there. Winning the clash is probably more important. Oh, I don't like those gaps, though, in the, the top left and the top or the bottom left. You have to spend a lot of resources just to activate those specials. Ooh, Zen I like Zenef Splat Charger. I do like that card. In that particular play, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have some easy special yeah, it's really awesome. coming from Jovin. Oh, double charger? Bad bomb. Yo? Maybe? <laughs> we'll see what happens. A wiper in the right there. Bad bomb and destruction potential. Yeah, a wiper in the right there would be so good for, uh, for Jovin. <clears throat> nice, kind of interesting combo there. And so Jovin correctly guessed to go to the left instead of pushing right, which yeah, a really good read there. Led to, mm -hmm, led to either losing some points or oh no, 
That's four points. That's another rare card. That's another decent card, uh, Oversight Octopi. I don't see it in a ton of combos, but the com... Oh, I think a combo... What is Oversight? Is a combo's with uh, Tower Control. That's a really good main street opening. Oh, nice suction. Move. I don't have to check this out. Yeah, I uh, I found it from the subreddit, the Table Turf Battle subreddit, actually. So, all right. Oh, so, know. equal and special economy. Nice. Yeah, wiper. Oh, yeah, you can play wiper there and get three. Yeah, but it costs two. Is... Yeah, that's true. Well, well, I, well. I mean, you would get back three, so I guess it wouldn't be that bad. But... Yes, yeah, so of course, but you can just not special new special and get more value. Right? Yeah, the the the. Yeah, yeah, I can see what you're saying. Like, you definitely don't want to be in the special negative when in this state of the game. In the end game, you want to have it set, you know? It's really hard to make a last turn, second oh, actually, turn comeback. Actually, Snipe, Snipe Rider. Oh, Snipe Rider? Okay. That's some rare cards coming That's, from players. Yeah, I, uh, I don't... I've never seen a single person use Snipe Rider, so... Snipe Rider might save the day right now. I'm not sure. It's a, well, it's a four hey. for a nine, so I don't oh, know. Yeah. Wait, I think they have a move, but they don't seem okay. No, finally they nope. Yes. Okay, uh, yes. maybe <laughs> they, potentially. If they point it upright. I think it works. No, it yeah, up. Oh, oh, okay. I'm just gonna dim there. Yeah, I don't know where they can play it. I don't know. Does chat see it? I I, I can see it. Okay, okay, that's it. No, they had it. yes. Yes. This works. This maybe not works. The best. Yeah, that's okay. I guess. Yeah. He's deciding, like, okay, do I go up or down? No, don't flip it, no! <laughs> That's no, listen to me! Just don't flip it, please! Just, and... just play something, oh my god. Jesus Christ. Oh, and they win, actually. Oh! No! Oh, no. oh, one, ah, uh, the clash. Rip. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah, rip. Um, I don't know. Ancient could have some value here. The shape doesn't really lend itself well to Ancient on this map, it seems like. Another 312 might be, uh, might be better. And I think Calliope runs Zipcaster in this map. Oops. I think Calliope runs Zipcaster in this okay, map, so yeah, I, I think we're gonna see Zipcaster, which, I don't know, Zipcaster, I don't know if it's gonna work for this map. I think this is gonna be, this is gonna be really close. No, Ultra Stamp! No, okay. okay, not in this instance. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a win for Calliope. Really close set still. Nobody realizes, but all these matches have been so close. So yeah, we got a couple stomps, but like everyone is getting so much better. Really awesome. Okay, grand finals. DBL Cookies versus Calliope. It's first to three wins, so best of five. Let's see how let's see how this opening's like. I'm gonna reset really quickly. Okay, and not which we still being punished somehow somewhat. On this map, for playing the captain opening in that way and not falling to the right, keeps going. In. I mean, it does not change their plan, so. Good amount of confidence being displayed already. Yeah, captain first move is uh, definitely some, some big opener energy. Yeah, Hollow, I like Hollow and Jovena's players. Um, So, oh yeah, oh shoot, I gotta. Can you announce? Can you tell me to do this? I'm gonna announce this. Uh, Grand finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh... All right. So, sorry. Mm -hmm. Right, a slight trade win. Um, hard to say who has space advantage because double has more dynamic advantage meaning they can push in more easily than their opponents but... all right i announced it i'm back all right grand finals is here so everyone Ooh. should know now Ooh, actually... yeah this is a very very smart play spreading out his cards as much as humanly possible to get as much of a position advantage as possible this is definitely a map where you can be a slippery player. Just yes. Yeah. Definitely. Go in, go in every small gap. For but you have to sure. make a deck for it very specifically. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, bam, 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 bam. Yo, the okay. I thought that was gonna be a clash, but it wasn't that much of a clash. Tied yeah. in turn seven. Uh, these matches, these players are so consistent. It's crazy. 
Mm -hmm. um, Yo, Peon, welcome to the stream. Ramp yeah. Hide again? What? Yeah, they just clashed with. Uh, this is not. This is not. This is crazy. This is crazy. <clears throat> Gotta drink some water for this dude. Stay hydrated, chat. Hmm. Drink that They're water. All trying to figure out how to combo with that captain, but unfortunately, that dynamo makes it very hard to activate. Yeah, it's all these clashes have gone really poorly for Lyapi. <laughs> yeah, double yeah. kind of stuck right now. I mean, it's fine because it's quite close to the late game. But yeah, we've seen Clappy make that comeback in that Gemini game, but I don't really know if it's going to happen here. But never say never, right? Uh, never say never. Too late. <clears throat> you said it. Ooh, I love that wiper placement and the splat bomb as well as so much so much synergy yeah. it's crazy four I... easy specials so okay in. correct me if i'm wrong does dbl run a map for every does does he run a specific deck for every map or is he a general deck player i think they have a specific deck, and unfortunately they won't be able to Ooh, splash wall unfortunate yeah the splash wall counter they're actually doing its job pretty well so they can <clears> still <throat> special when uh, spend one special to get three back. Yes, yeah. I mean that's fine. That's that's only like a little yeah. bit of a you know downgrade, obviously. It's just you have to play it a little bit differently. Yeah, but being down six points. Um, yeah, you do not want to be down against this player. Uh, Slada showers got upset by a wild card player called Joven. Um, I believe is. Region or from the Netherlands, I don't remember. Um, but yeah, he and is. Then, yeah. yeah, he defeated Showers two one in the first round of this top cut. So, yeah, Showers and now got. Jovin is actually in third place. Yes, right? yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Showers is not unbeatable. Showers can get unlucky, and people are getting way better. So I wouldn't support that narrative. Like I wouldn't support that narrative that she, like she's unbeatable. She's not. Even Pika Pika, even a player like Pika Pika has weaknesses. The showers exploit that very easily. Um, go back to the match. Not a ton of space for other players. But yeah, if you want to check the bracket, uh, I'm gonna, I can link it. Uh, here. Yeah, Joven is literally fighting for third place right now with Hollow. So, yeah. Both an equal amount of special right now. This is crazy. A lot of special points got activated, but in the end, uh, it just resulted in double cookies winning one. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunate. Un-unfortunate. Yeah, but that plus 11 is looking too strong to, to contest. But we'll see, maybe. Yeah, I don't know what fresh cards Kalapi runs. Um, this could be, you know, this could be a fresh card, this could be two 312s, I don't know. I don't know, like, a ton of three twelve double 312 players. I know it's a lot of Japanese players in double 312. What I've seen. Which fits better with their very aggressive playstyle. Yes. Yeah. But one thing that uh, they do, Japanese players do, which we don't see, is that their aggressivity is based on consistency. Yes. Like playing a deck that has a that is very much balanced but way more way heavier on the medium cards, I'd say. Yeah, this mod, this mod Slada will be uploaded on my YouTube channel, but it's going to be in a community playlist. Um, Shaz is a video, Clyby is a bunch of videos. Clyby normally does these tournaments, but uh, shouts to Clyby. She streamed most of our tournaments and uploaded, edited most of them to her YouTube channel. Um, let me go link that really quickly. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, where is it? So yeah, if you want to check out all of our recorded tournaments, go to this playlist and watch. But yeah, normally Clyby does this stuff. I'm streaming it because I volunteered, so yeah. And I was not paying attention. So fresh card, kind of what I expected from Clyde. They were plus. They were already plus five, yes. and that's gonna extend. Yeah. So big five. swing, it, humongous swing there. No, no. <laughs> Come on, someone do square squared. The back can be that bad. I mean, the Japanese actually. I think they don't like square squared either. Because even though it was in their map pool for that tournament, right? None of them counterpicked to it. Forever. All right, classic. At the nice. Day, you did not put the stream delay. I don't think you did, did you? Um, no, I, I, I never did. But I don't think anyone I, was cheating. Doesn't really matter. 
Yeah, no. Yeah. I think next tournament I'll do like 30 seconds or something. Because, I mean, with that, I won't really have to cover the, you know, the, uh, the hand. Mm -hmm. So I think it's definitely somewhat important to the spectators. And, uh, yeah. If you're using, like, if you're relying on a stream to get information, you're <laughs> kind of bad. Honestly. <clears throat> it's on the wrong side. Yeah, it's because people keep switching, like, uh, the seats. They keep switching seats, you know, I might have to make, like, a rule where you have to stay in the same color seat for the match. That might have to be, or uh... you could maybe go through the very hard task to just get the color Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna switch then. Alright, switched. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Love the power plan placement. Um, great position for the, uh, the special block as well, to get a special. Yep. And that's... Oh, okay. Actually, going through, didn't see that. Nice, yeah. No clash there as well. So, full, so, uh, so full points advantage for that power clam, and a very cheeky, extremely, extremely cheeky hero shot play there. Don't know if this is gonna get clashed. Wow. Okay, both players pushing each other's spawn. Kind of wild right now. So I to say which spawn is which player's spawn is more vulnerable. Yeah, I I don't know because I got I remember I played a match of showers where we played Gemini, and we just both kept pushing each other. Um, mm -hmm. And sometimes we'll get matches like that, and it's really hard to play. It's like whoever kind of gives first. We don't know. They're probably guessing, you know, who's going to give up first? Who's going to give up ground? And that's kind of the exciting thing and about Table Turf. My guess is uh, Double is going to give up first because of their deck balance being kind of unstable most of the time. But maybe yeah. I'm wrong. We'll see. Yeah. It'll probably get proven wrong. Commenteer's curse, perhaps? I'm not sure. Of course. But still, we have that nice three wide gap. Ooh! On top left. Yeah, you know, Splat Charger. But I don't know whether they'll be able Yeah, but to I think Calliope is running out of power right now. Or running out of steam, per se. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely love the new Charger. It's a great card. Zenith Charger? I mean, it's just normal Charger, but reverse. So how yeah. Could it be, how could you go? Yeah, it had to be bad. I also like these cards, the Pseudo Octostamp, the Autobomb, and the Little Judd, those are also great cards. Um, I mean, the, the uh, Octobomb, sorry, uh, Autobomb. Octostamp, yeah. Octostamp, Autobomb, Little Judd, the Blasters, they're kind of like the same 2x2 two two, uh, cube that you can activate against corner. Mm -hmm. So. Autobomb we've sometimes seen being uh, run both with... Um... Sorry, both Octostamp and Autobomb. Yes. But Autobomb is a bit more specific because it's yeah, used very... for, com for a combo with um, um, Captain. Yeah, course. Captain or just in general or something. Uh, I am... If I was in this situation, I, I mean, I, I don't play these players' decks, so I don't really, don't really know what I would do, but I do like the tri Slash Nouveau idea. That's also a really good card that's came out recently. Um... Slosher could all, or B try could also be used in like the top there, but I don't think a lot of players run both tries. I think it's only like one or the other, right? Mm -hmm. We only really see two duplicates being run on the same deck if it's being used for a specific niche, like uh, Double Splash on Gemini, for instance. Double Splash? I never saw Double Splash being used, to be fair. Yeah, so Peon kind of putting out a combo. I mean, yeah, I don't know a lot of the brain combos, so yeah, it might be better commenting for this specific match. <laughs> Um, um, sorry, I'm not very much up to speed to re with recent combos, but apparently the is, is completely up to speed. <laughs> because they find Leon that says, Calliope is a neat combo of Zeclofin and Splat Duelies. Hmm. I don't remember what Zeclofin looks like, but I do know what Splat Duelies look like. Nice. Wow. Zeclofin is the card top right. Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay. Gotcha. I can see. Oh yeah, I see exactly. How the <laughs> back to this, which are, yeah. Oh my god. Ugh. Yeah, but unfortunately, I think they had to play their splat jellies early on. I might be wrong. Yeah, we'll see. Honestly, but no matter because they are minus ten and minus five specials, and probably too late. No yeah, this is looking. Minus. Yeah, DBL is still leading, and he really doesn't have to do anything too big right now. I mean, he pretty much just has to like play ball point. Uh, two back, right here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, oh, I don't know. It didn't work. Yeah, oh, uh, no. <laughs> no, it does. 
Uh, is, is he in Scorch? Oh, oh, wait. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. Um, yeah, maybe they won't. Yeah, because you do a four, and then you get one back, and then you get two from the ball point, so you can play your super jump like that way. Yeah, but, maybe they'll find a better way to use. Yeah, the probably playing. I, w I mean, you could play ball point. You could also play, you know, s small fry, but you don't know what Calliope's going to plan or cook, so. Yeah, um, DBL, certain players are really good at this map. Um, and other players aren't. Showers hates this map. Sh this is the map Showers lost on before you know she left the tournament. Wow, unfortunately, taking a, a have to having to take a pass there, but it might be a tactical pass. I think IP is probably going to make a last ditch effort right now uh, to play a fresh, perhaps. Yeah, but down but, twenty six, and your opponent's going to get like yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Not a lot of places to play chump, but I mean, you don't really need a good place to play chump. But you just need to play something. Okay, that's perfect. Bottom left there? Okay, that's that's perfect. Yeah, that pass was tough. That was tough. Unfortunate. Yeah, it might be a GG. Yep, might be really thinking the... right now, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Probably considering where to place the fresh. It's like, oh, where can I place the fresh? Where can I place it? Uh, it's, this is very much looking to be... Yeah, you can probably... Round. Wait, was the Div 2 bracket deleted since people aren't playing it? <laughs> I don't know, I didn't follow what happened there, but it's a real mess. I yeah, you, you'll probably just delete it. I don't think people, people are even playing it from what Michael said, so you can probably just delete it. We'll improve sometimes. Yeah. Okay, Calliope Hopefully. could not even bring that back with a fresh card. DBL just had so much map control at the end with a 100 lead in River Drift. Simply absurd. Square squared? Yo, let's go! Oh, finally. Let's go! Pog champs in the chat, dude? Yo, imagine You've been the- complaining for so long. Yeah, I'm, I've been complaining for like three hours, bro. Finally. All right, yo. Pog champ. All right, we're gonna start. We're gonna, I'm very interested to see how both these players play at square square. Cause man, I, I, I like seeing matches in this map. Cause it's so open-ended, right? You kind of design your own route. So Hydra, great opening there. Um, No clash. No clash as well. Because, yeah, there's no choke points, so you kind of decide the map, or, you know, how you play it. How you kind of decide the map design, or the map route, if that makes sense, you decide your own out. Mm. Double cookies just uh, going forward immediately. Yeah, kind of being able to place that tri stringer. Yeah, and Galliope, kind of um, getting ready to pounce, running backwards to get a longer chance. I keep forgetting Cali Calliope's name is pronounced Calliope. <laughs> I keep oh, forgetting. My bad, my bad. Yeah. All right, now, yeah. We're, yeah, this is, uh, ooh, no, no, DBL, okay, so DBL had this match in the Japanese tournament where he played Tristringer in the same spot as another Japanese player, and it was literally the same clash, and that actually made him lose the match. Okay. Yeah, so that's kind of funny that's happening to him again today. Nice, eating up the Harmony as well. Um, but that Harmony did push into uh, DBL's spot pretty- DBL's base pretty easily because of Harmony's size. So Big Man and Harmony, yeah, kind of big cards used immediately. Um, won't be able to use them for endgame. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, one thing uh, Calliope needs yes. to be careful about is that bottom right corner and indeed they were killed for a minute. And... Already they, uh, oh, yeah. Die. Yeah, the bottom right corner. Yeah, that definitely has potential. I can see we were calling from. Ooh, perfect spot for the power clam. Great 3x5 light card. Yeah, but that dangerous because now left, the whole left side, yes, as I said, could be. Yeah. Really no, okay. If Calliope played Marigold on that left si right side, yeah, she would be screwed. But she knew that, you know, if you're going to play Marigold, you don't want to clash. So if you're going to play it, you need to play it in the correct spot. Mm. Uh, no spots so to nice play. Read yes. From... <laughs> Top decking. What does that mean again? I forgot. Top decking. Um, just literally, uh, you draw a card, you play it immediately because you don't have any other better. Oh, game. okay. That I think that's the concept like from Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not familiar with like all the Yu-Gi-Oh like strategy or lingo. Yu-Gi-Oh is the only other card game I've played besides Table Turf, and uh, yeah, modern Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of terrible. What I've seen. 
<clears throat> I don't know, I'm not a cards person. Yeah. Or if it does. Yeah, any, anyone else in this chat uh, <laughs> playing any other card games besides Table Turf, or is Table Turf your first card game? And by card game, I mean trading card game, not like poker or, you know, Uno. <laughs> I do play bridge. Oops, sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, double three twelve coming from double, which I remember said they that was one of the only maps where they run double three twelve. So, what's the only map? See whether that works out for them. This map, as you can oh, see. Oh yeah, Hollow was telling me a bit about that. Um, yeah, they said yeah, double three twelve. This is kind of the vibe to have double three twelve. Yeah, no players getting combos. I don't really understand the idea there of the toxic names. Maybe it's the setup for later. I don't know. I guess we will see. Nice ten attack. I love that placement. Really satisfying. Oh, oh, I thought. Oh, <laughs> if fine. yeah, if that was placed towards the bottom, that would have given Calio Calliope one less special. Wow, perfect placement for the either 4K there. Oh my god. Top ten most satisfying nice. clips of all time. Nice. Yo, the clash. What? No way. Calliope's kind of on the run right now. Yeah, ancient. Okay. I, oh. I wonder whether we will see a <gasps> Yo, double 10? Okay. Yeah, probably double 312. Yeah, that's great. Okay. I mean, it's unsure because they could use their captain. They have seven, so just Yes. Five. You could do... spend six by then. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, DVL is just trying to guess, okay, what is Calliope going to play in this last round? I'm going to guess... Well, no, because Calliope played Big Man and Harmony, so Calliope's probably going to play a 312. Is, is my guess. They're going to play a bit... On the smaller side, probably, is one to guess. So yeah, mm -hmm. double 312. I, I, definitely. Really? Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, uh alright, we're back, we're back. <clears throat> that pl So yeah, you could literally play Ancient on the right there, and you could play Stamp on the, on the left. That's awesome. Nice. Decent Splat Duelies. Gives you one. Oh, okay. Just barely enough. Uh... Yeah, if, as long as this isn't a 312 clash, this should be fine. Um, My brain can't process so, oh yeah, right. well if he plays on the left, he might get clashed and he might lose. So I think it might be better to play on the right, but Clive might also read that. I don't know, it's... Table Turf, guys, is so much mental game. I mean, obviously, you know, you know where to play stuff and you have game knowledge and fundamentals, but a lot of it is the mental game as well, and you know, knowing what your opponent might do and... It's really quite interesting, uh, if I do say so, Shaz. Great. Yeah. Um, I mean, in this last turn, I don't think really much your opponent yeah. does matter. Yeah, Clive doesn't know where to place this. Yeah, yeah. Devil wins. Yeah. Devil's gonna win this. Yep. Yep. And <sighs> yeah. At some points, I feel like this game becomes a perfect of a, single, of a single player game. Yep. Perfect three twelve. Yeah. At a top level, it's all about your decision making. If you have bad decision making. You're not going to do that well. Okay, interesting. Okay. So, Clive must have first a map already. I thought uh, it was, Main it was Thunder Street. Point. It was in this set. It's Thunder Point. Okay. Uh, River Drift. Square Square. Now it's main, now it's Main Street. Wow, what Sorry a DBL that. hand if I've ever seen one. That was complete that was, Okay, that was terrible. That was awful. That well, was that's not, better. Yeah, a little bit better. You know, a little bit pressure in the mid. Great opening card as well from Calliope. Opening up a sh uh, Shiver can pop off some other stuff. Nice. Kind of forcing. That way might see, um, but he's trying to force a clash yeah. from. Uh, he's trying to force a clash from Calliope, so probably knows what card she'll run. Probably. Taking a clash with a twelve is pretty risky. I don't know whether they. Will yeah, it is kind of risky. I guess we'll see. I mean, it depends because uh, on this map, the meta seems to have evolved into playing more defensively. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh no! And that's a loss by one of that clash. You could play Autobomb on the left there, but yeah. Actually. And that could be another clash lost. Yeah, that could be another Cla- it, it depends on if- it depends on if Calliope wants to just push- I think Calliope is gonna push into DBL's spawn. Yeah, it's honestly. too risky to give the whole right side probably. Yeah. Yep. And yes. Okay. But that's still- That makes- that makes sense. sense. Calliope is aware of, you know, the defense, obviously. Yeah, I think this is the last table tournament happening today. 
So, uh, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to raid anyone. Hey, Hollow, what's up? How'd your match go? Hmm. Ooh, and not getting traded on that is just very good points. And it's already plus 11. But they kind of lost one of their openings. So let's see how it goes. Hollow won barely. Okay, so Hollow places third in the tournament. Yeah, Jovin is insane, Hollow. You should have seen the match that he had against Showers. Like, I was casting it. It was crazy. I watched... Basically, I, I don't think I watched the first match, but... I watched... Well, actually, no, I think I did watch the set. Double... Uh, double... Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna upload all this to YouTube. Yeah, just definitely watch the VOD. It's the first match I casted. When LJ won, it was crazy. Yeah, Clyde is the only player that I see who uses Starly Eddie. I don't really know a lot of combos of Eddie, like Rainmaker, I think. So, yeah, DBL Cookie's doing really well at taking back space right now, and Clyde's kind of running out of uh, power once again. Kind of I'm common not trend. Really, not well, really the uh, double is minus 20 already, so. Well, I mean, there's still six turns left. I mean, there might be a way to, like, bring it back, but. They're gonna have to use their space um, very efficiently. Uh, I don't think they were ready for this kind of game. Yeah, this being a counter pick is kind of a Chad move. Yeah, Div Two I is mean, uh, yeah. looks pretty. Div Two looks pretty awful. Looks like a bunch of people dropped. <laughs> Kinda, a little bit. Let's do some matches. Man, taking 57 thing. seconds to think about that play, is it gonna be worth it though? I, uh, guess that was worth it. Nope, I, I don't think um, so. Um, it's more common than you think. I mean, that's the thing, you need the card though, because they're fresh cards and they're deep cuts, they're probably gonna be hard to get in general. Wow, Clive is still choking out EBL right now. This is nuts. Yeah, this board is a mess. <sighs> For sure. We do see some uh, Shiver, like for example, here we have a Shiver opening. Yeah, Shiver was uh, Calliope's opening as well. And who was using a lot of big men? Uh, I mean, I saw it from Can Calliope. Can actually used, yeah. used it, yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously, I've seen Hollow use uh, big men too. Finally, Calliope getting the Shiver combo down. Last time, it did not fully work, only getting one special. Here, getting the full two special. So, good job. Oh, I like that combo. It's not bad. Oh, a Tentec there would be so- I see so many spots where Tentec can work, and it's like, damn it, I, I just want- I want that card, <laughs> you know. Do you not have it? I do not have Tentec! Yeah, people can oh, make fun of me. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating, for sure. Getting into the endgame here, in the match, uh, we will see what happens. Wow, Cal- Calibi, I'm gonna take a pass there! Actually, the yeah, Hollow actually speaking the truth. Screen. Please, guys, buy Tan Tech. <laughs> it's a good card. Oh, Little Judd is kind of meaty right now. You know, could potentially... Well, no, you probably want to save the top spot for the 312. No shots. You know, will, the, will the plus 6 points be enough to tank the minus 2? Yeah, rest points? in peace, her oversight of the Octopod. Uh. Yeah, because the thing is, you can play a little job there. It might not have, might give, might not give you a uh, space for your three ball. So I'm not sure. Yeah, Clyde P. Both players really thinking about this decision right now. You can tell there's a lot going on. In, there's a lot going into this match mentally. Yeah. Uh, we don't know, Peon. Honestly, I'm gonna close. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna close chat. Or not close chat. I'm gonna minimize it. So sometimes chat can be ahead and it'll tell you the results. <laughs> so, all right. Three uh, seconds and... left, just choose a card! Oh my god, <laughs> just choose a card! Early 312 from Cal Calliope! I think that's... I don't know, Calliope... I mean, Calliope could play something in the top right there, but I think that might be game. I don't know. I think that's it. What can Cal what can Calliope play in that top there? They could play Booyah... Well, Booyah won't fit now. Why would they use Booyah? Little Judd. Little no, Judd is probably... Little Judd, maybe? Play. I don't know. Let let's see, I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening right now. I should have ran a poll, but I maybe mean, I can do it next time. Find the best spot possible to play this super chump. 
Also, the card art is so cute for Super Chump. Type 1 if you agree that the Super Chump art is kind of beef. 85, just do the, okay, 85 seems pretty good. That's like 11, that's not bad. That's like the max value you get. A pass? I think that's it, I think that's, that's it. it. That's it? That's it! Yeah. DBL Cookies yeah. wins the tournament. I mean, we'll get the confirmation here, but I think that's it. Yeah, yeah DBL wins 3-1 over Calliope. What uh, a resounding- I have that match. Though. What a resigned defeat. That is the third TBO win for, for, uh, for DBL Cookies. Wow, that was simply unparalleled. Wow, and the pass there of the Oversight Octopod, yeah, that was unfortunate. But yeah, GG's to both players. That was an amazing grand finals to watch. That was super awesome. Even though it wasn't the closest um, in terms of like score, but uh, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, DBL Cookies didn't drop a single match. The only match the DBL Cookies like could have lost, that, that was the one Showers disconnected in the last turn. So he got the win. Crazy top eight. Oh, nice. Okay, we're getting the, the I don't know what the set score is right now. Okay, this is Div 2. A um, bunch of people dropped because people just got frustrated. So, which is fair. I mean, it was very much unclear. Yes, it was, was very unclear. It was a very, very much mistake on our parts. Nice mum mouth opening. It's the Showers opening right there. Why is there a match dispute? Uh, someone's got to look at that. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, so, yeah, it looks like Grand Fi- it looks like Top Cut, you know, Div 1 finished before Div 2, so. We have some content, kinda- wow, Bread- Bread Who 2 one to Andy. Now, Andy is in the third place match right now, so that's kinda nuts. So, uh, yeah, Bread Poo versus Rose Dragon, this is Grand, uh... Wait, who's fighting- oh, I think Andy gets third place by default, because there's a buy or something, right? Right? I think so. Okay. Oh, so, Andy gets third and did two. Andy didn't do that well. You know, Cryptic Cultist got 12th. This is Grand Finals. Bread Who? Uh, kind of reminds me of that Earthbound character um, versus Rose Dragon. I think this is the first match, so. Yeah, I. Uh, did you know? I, did oh, they no, not one, report their. Yeah, okay. Well, one, I didn't. Oh. Wait, the bracket wasn't updated. Maybe they update after every match with good displays or whatever. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know if a TO is watching, but yeah, someone can update, like, tell people to update those scores, because yeah, it doesn't say anyone's in Grand Finals right now for Div 2. <clears throat> and, um... Yeah, because it looks kind of weird right now. Flipper Flopper? I never see that card. Well, unfortunately, pretty big clash there from the easier 4K. Yeah. Uh, and Rose Dragon managed to completely circumvent their opponents. Yeah, I'm just going to call this person bread. <laughs> Um, we are all the real super chumps. Yeah, so now, probably it was they were trying to set up some very elaborate yeah. back rank combos. But... Yeah, yeah. Nice, uh, and yeah, and fancy combos are not really going to win you games. Like, sometimes you can get away with it, but like, it's really not the thing you should be focusing on, I guess. So, uh, yeah, uh, Bread is kind of spot being spawn camped, honestly. I mean, there's a ginormous combo potential, um, on the top right there, but I don't really know how you could activate that. Maybe you could play, uh, NZAP or, I don't know, something. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, uh, the only pretty, uh, interesting move I see is potentially spider shots on their, um, top right corner, or, not really top right corner, but below their wall of special. Um, bum, bum, bum. From that, they have nothing to play for. Oh, I gotta change the score. I, I, my bad. Yeah, uh, one, one change it briefly. <laughs> yeah, that spots with the auto bomb. Unfortunately, not many play people playing. Yeah, it really is begging for an auto bomb. <laughs> or, or from a double. All right, one one. Some... And this is grand finals, so it is gonna be best of five. So yeah, I'm gonna get five matches for all of you. Lots of special for both players, but a 30 deficit this kind of early on in the game, or late, like, in May game, mm -hmm. is very bad. That's really bad. And no small cards. Well, Bread, Bread might have a card, potentially. Yeah, it's already very... Looking yeah, very also, good. it looks like there's a match dispute. I don't know if anyone's taking care of that, but, uh, yeah. Sorry, let me check it out. Probably yeah. Because uh, someone dropped. Yeah, and uh, some of the later stages of Div 2 could probably use updating as well. Because some people don't update their scores until, like, after they complete the set. It's weird. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but yeah. 
Okay, now so I guess many matches didn't happen. And yep, because so yeah, that's what Andy, that's what Andy said. Yeah. Yeah. So the battle phase is just very confused. And yeah, unfortunate. Whatever. Maybe we'll do something. Yo, the splash wall! Oh my god! What? I mean, no way. It's hard to know whether they played it. Yeah. Uh, why they played it? Because um, what they were trying to. I mean, do. I did give a lot of special, but like, I don't know. Octavio? Man, just really flexing on me right now. It's like, okay, I'm gonna play my fresh card on turn two because I know I'm still, I'm, I know I'm still gonna win, even if you play another seventeen. You know, I'm gonna win. Mm. The confidence, gotta, the confidence right now is so evident. <laughs> it's like, man, take me out to dinner. <clears throat> I mean, they might consider. No, they don't consider. <laughs> I was gonna yeah, say, yeah, maybe, consider. maybe, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Octavio versus the Ultra Stamp, the power play. Oh, okay. And literally only getting one special. Yeah, the 30. Yeah, you know, he That's can pass right now. Yeah. This person could pass and they would win. Oh, playing the 312 as a. Oh, okay, that's. 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 Disrespect. No. <laughs> No, play, play the swap. No, no, play the swap right in the corner. Oh <laughs> my god, no! Oh, okay, wow. So, kind of read the disrespect there. So, taught to get bodied, of course. And, and they probably smash. did what. They so, did yeah, still kind of, still kind of got them. stopped there. But yeah, I, I wasn't paying attention like that much because I was changing the score. But yeah, that seemed pretty commanding for Rose Dragon. So. Rose Dragon is going to go 2-1 in the set, so this could potentially end in the next match, and it's going to be Brett's counterpick. And it is Thunder Points. All right, Thunder Point, uh, Thunder Point it is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thunder Point into River Drift, or River Drift into Thunder Point. So, um, we see the alternate, um... Ooh, Shiver 2! I don't think I've seen it at all in this tournament. So, pretty awesome. Yeah, that's weird. Wow, Holographic last... Hydra? That's nuts. It's weird because last tournament, um, sorry, not last tournament, but uh, yeah. I think it was maybe JD Cup too. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I, I didn't watch like every every match in BJC two. I was busy TLing, so uh, yeah. Yeah, so so many pl people played it. I think in BJC two. Interesting. Hmm. Wow. A, oh, wow. wow. An instant block off. That was such poor decision making. Um, I, I try to phrase that a nice way, but yeah, generally in Thunder Point, you do not want to get blocked off. It is a very, very bad idea. I don't know. Maybe, and the thing is, the special point too, it's located in their base. They can't really push out. So, well, okay, that one's a little bit closer. They can't even push in, but. Yeah, getting blocked off this early is really bad, because now, yep, it's gonna be rolling the combos. x Flosher, um, maybe uh, something else. Nice read uh, to win that clash. Okay. Building a little bit of special, could push into their base, which. Honestly, sometimes you have to sacrifice special to reclaim turf. Since you've lost it, yeah, that's... Yeah, and now they have... Okay, they are opting to keep going forward. I am kind of... Yeah, that's... Okay, I like the flipper flopper. That's a good defense. Sets up for a combo as well. Uh, ooh, 96 Scal. Uh, that's also kind of a rare one, kind of a unique deck here. I hope they won't regret going forward that much. Yeah, we will, um, have, uh, we'll see. Especially because they have such a nice spot for their yeah. scopes leader. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bow, 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 bow. Yes, they do. Nope, they don't. They bow, don't bow, 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 bow. Yeah, like that. Nice, yeah. that's great. Yeah, great. Found it. <clears throat> nice, okay. So... Kinda, even though this person got blocked off, they are building the special back up very easily. Mm -hmm. For now, they are holding on, but once we get to the later stages of the game... Yeah, we will see what goes on in this mid game here. I will, it will start to feel worse. Oh, so, has Octavio? Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. They used Octavio in the last match. Okay. Oh, the small cards are at the bottom. That's weird. I usually have them at the top. <laughs> so, decent defensive option. That three top was insane. Nice. Oh. Oh. Uh, that's okay. If they have another 312, that could maybe work out. But yeah, if that's their only 312, I think they're kind of screwed. Yeah, and. Yeah, I mean, they never can... say never, but. That steel head's gonna probably cut it. Yep, that's what I was thinking as well. 
Ooh, Splash Roll kind of working out well for Red right now. Yeah, but giving their opponents one special. I mean, it's yeah, pretty much that's... Over yeah, I mean, last four turns, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, we'll see what happens. Is, yeah, if Rose Dragon wins this, they win Div 2, and DBL Cookies will be Div 1 winner. Um, so yeah, really cool. We'll probably each give them a tournament champion role, maybe. Well, I don't know. Div 2 was kind of a mistake. I don't think we should give that a role. But so cool. <laughs> but, yeah, see. yeah, it was kind of a... I don't know why they're not playing their um, 96 at the bottom, because they could have a free special. Yes. Here they give their opponent yeah, one Yeah, I mean... Um, weird. I don't know. Maybe Splash Go intends to be played, but that's kind of uneven, because it can't really activate special in it easily. So I'm not yeah. sure. But I guess they wanted to make sure they could play their 96. So it makes sense. Yeah. Still haven't pulled Octavio. Might be going for a really insane co Well, I don't know if they could do a sick com insane combo, per se. I, 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 I can't have... stop. What'd you say? They don't have that many special points, but they're just... Yeah. If that's a really mistake from their opponent, just means they have such a big lead in just general points. I do like the five special one. points. I mean, 13... Uh... We're gonna have to tank. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wiper's gonna tank this hit, probably. Uh, might lose a little bit, but we'll have the 312 to compensate. Um... For sure. Because that's another Good concept in table turf that people don't understand, especially when you're playing against AI, is that sometimes when you know your opponent's going to special and you're in the lead, you have to play a decent card to not let the math, like, ruin you, you know? You have to, like, tank it, essentially. So, okay, not bad. Um, that was not a bad tank. And Rose Dragon in the lead, gonna play the 312. And 74 can also be played there, I don't know. Not a lot Bright can do in this situation. Not a lot they can do now, but in the past, yes. they managed to set up these specials quite well. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I'm surprised this person set up so many specials after they got locked out, uh, or blocked off. That was... I will give them that. That was very, very impressive. Yeah, that's, I don't think that's gonna be... Um, nope, it, yeah, I mean, it's, it's impressive, but I mean, it's not gonna win you the game. <laughs> okay. And we'll see, we'll yeah, see. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Big man two? Okay, I, I, that's that's epic. All right? No, I maybe I don't know. Uh, it's important, and it was very close to perfect, I think. Yep. Okay. So Rose Dragon is yeah, going to win the turn. Uh, win Div two, and DBL Cookies will be the winner of Div one. Um, Amazing that game. was yeah, that was really awesome. Uh, thanks for playing out the best of five, everyone uh, or guys. Um, appreciate it. It's for content for the stream. Uh, there is no more um tournaments happening game. today i believe so uh, unless anyone has an idea of a person to raid um i will end the stream uh we can see who's maybe streaming table turf i don't know but yeah um this will be on my youtube um and i'll hopefully post it to the, to the, yeah, blah, 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 to the tbs server well um, and we'll add it to the community uh, playlist yes yeah so if anyone wants to play in tournaments or wants to discuss table turf, join the Discord. And if you want to play in our tournaments, check out our organization page. In connection to the host is lost. So yeah, this is all of our tournaments, our organization page. So yeah, hit us up. Um, we're always looking for new players. Be sure to get the event player role to actually see the tournament channels uh, in roles. Um, and that should be it. Chaz, it was a great time commentating with you. Uh, my first, this is my first time commenting table server. I hope I did a good job. <laughs> hope I did. So thanks a lot to everyone. Yes. Yeah, we did. See you next time, hopefully. Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you later.